Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, as usual, we start with the, you know, we have our, our topic and our topic is clear from the title. The Muslims are working hard to clear or let us say to clean, to clean all the dump or the dumb stuff or the stupid things Muhammad and uh, supposedly Allah, he said to him. Very embarrassing religion for those who follow it. So they decide to make a meeting, and in this meeting, let us try to clean all the garbage we have in our books. So Erdogan, he worked in that actually in that direction, and he made already many conference for Muslim scholars. And the purpose of that actually conference is more than one thing. He's trying to make himself as a leader who he can gather the Muslims in Turkey and make the Turkey as a capital for the Muslims, not Mecca or uh, Saudi Arabia or even Egypt. They are competing about, you know, uh, authority because, as we know, Islam is nothing but politics and garbage of politics. However, in their conference, they try their best to come to an agreement how we can clean all the garbage we have in our books. From Sahih al-Bukhari to Sahih Muslim to all the madness and the stupid things. And after discussing for long discussion, they found out that this is a mission impossible. Because if they take off all stupid things, simply nothing is left. And my pal talk is open in case a Muslim he wanna can prove to me that there is nothing is stupid. I mean, I mean, let us make it this 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 way. I challenge you to find me something in your religion is not stupid. Until we see some Muslims trying to contact us, uh, okay. Let's see here. We have a Muslim. Uh, okay. All right. All right. You know, if if you are a person who call me and you don't like to be in YouTube, then don't call me because my videos don't stay in my channel. Uh, so if you don't like to be in YouTube, I mean, why you call me then? Let us see, I'm just answering somebody here. All right. Uh, again, if you don't, if you don't like to be in like in YouTube, don't call. YouTube. I mean, don't call and say, okay, I want to talk to you in public. Uh, you know, uh, everybody knows that uh, people download my videos. And the second you call me, it's going to be all over. All right. Uh, and if you're afraid to say your opinion and you are a Muslim, well, I don't know like, what to say. I mean, so why you say your opinion? Don't say it. <laughs> what I can do, I mean, uh, obviously Islam is a very bad religion to the point Muslims, uh, you know, they are scared to say their opinion. 
literally you know they are really scared to say their opinion anyway i hope you guys you downloaded my videos the previous ones because i'm going to delete most of them um, as you see we have a, a, a big number of view but it doesn't matter for me i don't care for how many view there is we will uh, i will uh, take down all the videos i'm just doing that right now and almost our page will be clean again <clears throat> And this will explain to you why we don't have, uh, why don't I don't have many uh, videos in my channel because I don't keep them, as simple as that. Anyway, we go back to our topic. Uh, if we go to the comment section, we will find this. A Muslim, his name Adil. Adil, he said. Uh, that Jesus said many things and supposedly he's trying to prove to you that Jesus is not God but here you see how stupid the the you know I mean the argument it cannot be done by someone have little intelligence uh, like you know I don't know next time don't quote Matthew uh, 8 21 uh, look what you did look what you just said <clears throat> and this is Matthew 8 21 I mean are you? Uh, I don't know what to say. You know, when a Muslim he called for you something. When a Muslim he called for you something. First of all, don't take what the Muslims say to you. Never. Muslims do not even know how to quote their own Bible and their own Quran. So how they can quote for us our own book? You know they don't know uh, what they are quoting they are copy paste from each other and uh, uh, you know because of the nature of this cult uh, there is no dignity and there is no uh, honesty and there is no truth in uh, whatever they say so if we go and see what he is quoting uh, to you in the in the comment which he says it is 8 to 21, uh, we will find that this ignorant he is quoting uh, 7 21. And by quoting that verse, he just proved that Jesus is God. Now he better go into the Muslim website and tell them you are an idiot. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of, my, of the heaven, but he who does the will of my Father, who, which is in heaven. But you just showed me a verse saying Jesus is God, because he is saying not everyone says to me, God, God. Which means there is many of those who say to me, God, God, they will go to heaven. But not all of them. So you are trying to prove to us that Jesus is not God, but you quote for me a verse saying, Jesus saying, I am God. You know, when I say, not everyone says to me, uh, 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 let us say, uh, uh, you are the savior. Not everyone says to me, you are the savior. That's mean, all of them they say and they agree, I am the savior. And then, some of them will not go to heaven, which means many they will go and many they will not. Why? Because many they are decent, they say and they do what they say, and many they are uh, uh, not decent, they say things and they do something else. So the verse from the beginning of your comment, even though you are quoting wrong, because you are just a silly Abdul, that verse alone is reason to, 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 to believe that Jesus saying clearly that he is God. So when you start next time making a comment, trying to prove to us that Jesus is not God, I advise you not to choose 721. You are an idiot because he is saying not everyone says to me, God, God, which means many they will, you know, go to heaven. Uh, in the same time, you know, he's, they start quoting, you know, uh, and uh, they quote like Jesus says, 
uh, okay, you know, I, you know this. This is the cup which I don't really want it, but that that you will be done. But in the same time, Jesus said, "Nobody take a, myself from me. I lay down myself." And Jesus, he said, and just to make it short for all those Abdul who they are desperate, you see, the the, the Bible is a book. It's not a phrase. It's not a sentence. It's a book. So you can you can go around and say Jesus say he sent me the one who sent me the one who sent me the one who sent me as he keep you know saying like when when he quote uh, John uh, five nineteen why you skip from five nineteen all the way uh, to five thirty what happened between them because if we read what between between them we will see that you are stupid in the same time if I say to you the son can do nothing but you just say that he is the son. <laughs> he just said he is the son of God <laughs> and he is saying to them you, you the one you see in the front of you in the flesh uh, it's not the man who is doing this is this is a God this is a God in the flesh is doing if you see my judgment this is the judgment is given to me if we go to John chapter you see he's quoting from John like many verses from John just to show you how stupid this idiot is and I insist to use the word stupid because you know there is two kinds of stupidity. There is evil one, and there is a naive one. Naive one is not evil. He is just a stupid. You know, I mean, he's ignorant. He don't know what he's saying. Those are trained. Because there is no way that he did not read the verses before it and the verses after it. I mean, like what? You open the Bible, you find that you find that said uh, John uh, chapter five, and then you find verse number thirteen in front of you, and that's it. You did not see before it. You did not see after it. Is it possible that this guy he saw John eleven twenty nine, but he did not see the uh, John eleven uh, twenty eight twenty seven twenty six? Is it possible? But you, just to show you how stupid everything you are trying to prove to us, he just said, "My father, you idiot." So if this is will confirm that Jesus is not God, that is because of your stupidity. Because if he is the son and his father is is God, that means the son is the same as the father. <laughs> okay. Um, but just to show you an example, if we go right now, you know, we, when we take any of those chapter he is quoting for us, you will see right away that the Muslims will regret. Like, you know, he quote for us a chapter 721, not 821. Uh, but here, here we go. We just showed you that Jesus is saying clearly that uh, not everyone worship me. Not everyone says God to me. He will go to heaven. That's mean you have to worship me to go to heaven. But not by only doing worship you go to heaven, but by doing the work which I told you to do, which is the will of my Father, which is me. You know, isn't it in John chapter 10, it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I give them eternal life I give them eternal life are you there Abdul you see you are quoting the book of John this is the book of John who is the one who give eternal life Jesus and they shall never perish neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand how you can do that I mean if Jesus is just a man who, who are you my father who has given me given them to me okay now he will say see the father giving today but this is the father giving the son <laughs> god the father is giving god the son is a greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of my father hand i and my father are one so he said in the beginning he says from my hand and then he said, from my father's hand, you cannot snatch them out from my hand. Read carefully. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. This is the hand of Jesus. Okay? No one can do that. All right. Then he says, my father who has given them to me, greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them from off my father's hand. So you cannot take them from the hand of Jesus. You cannot take them from the hand of the Father. But Jesus continues saying, I and my Father are one. I mean, do we even need to explain more? So when you quote for me, John, it says John. 
This is why you Christians never take the Bible from Muhammad. They don't even know how to answer their Quran. As you see, we open, we go live, and they are in trouble. In two seconds, they are in trouble. In two seconds, they don't know what to do. And then Muhammad, he want to prove to you from the Bible that Jesus is saying he is not God. Each time Jesus says, my father, each time Jesus says the son, each time Jesus saying me and the father is one, each time Jesus says the one who pray to me and say to me, Lord, Lord, he is saying he is God. Each time, all the verses they quoted for us in this comment is proving that Jesus is God. So what's wrong with those people? What's wrong is very simple. They cannot handle the truth. Stupidity is knowledge in Islam. As the Quran says, and those who believe, we say, those who, uh, those who have knowledge, they say we believe. Islam gives definition, definition for knowledge. What is that? Is to say we believe, not we understand. When the Quran says, this is a book nobody knows what it means save Allah. In chapter 3, verse number 7. And those who have knowledge, they say we believe. Well, how they have knowledge? If nobody knows save Allah. What kind of knowledge we are talking about? And those who they are firmly, firmly grounded in knowledge, they say we believe in the book. But you just said nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. <laughs> so what knowledge they are grounded with? <laughs> see how stupidity work? Do you see how stupid? I mean, so if to be a scholar in Islam is to, to say I believe in something no one knows what it means, save Allah. Uh, we have Muhammad Orhan. How are you, Muhammad Orhan? Just to show you another example of the stupidity of those who attack Christianity. By the way, I saw Orhan. He was saying that there's a question, Christian Prince, he cannot answer it. Orhan, why you don't call me, my friend? Let us see what you have. Look like you are a strong person. Why you don't read the Talmud? You see, this is how idiot they are. They are like their prophet. For Talmud, first of all, is not a holy book. Is not even for the Jews' holy book. You stupid Muslims, you don't know what you are talking about. Stupidity is your flag. Talmud is not a holy book, not even for the Jews. And Talmud is a book written by a bunch of rabbis, and I can make a Talmud now. What Talmud? So they, they are silly, they are desperate. Do you, do you yourself, why, why, why the Talmud is not mentioned in your Quran? Then I will go with you. Just to show you how stupid this argument is. The second you follow like Muhammad, you became like a frog. You don't talk, you say walk, 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 like, like a frog. Why you don't have the word Talmud in your book? Did Allah forget about it? Did Allah give the Talmud to the Jews? Now wait for the answer, he will never give an answer. Because he knew that this is, this is a stupid book, he should not talk about it. Did your Allah mention the Talmud? Are you there? Did Allah forget the Talmud? Now he will go, you know, he will play dead. Like uh, he, he heard nothing, he saw nothing, you know? He is one of the three monkeys. We see them, we see them in Asia. I heard nothing, I saw nothing, I, 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 I say nothing. What is the Talmud in the Quran? Are you there? What happened to you? Did you take a vacation? Why it's matter? Because you see, the, is it is it Quran is the book of God and all the news is about about God is is there? Did Allah mention all the prophets? Who is the prophet who wrote the Talmud? <laughs> does it matter? Yeah, it does matter because the same question go to you. If I should consider the, the Talmud, then you should consider it. Isn't it you Muslims who came after us? Talking about came after us, just to show you the stupidity. The stupidity in Islam is inherited from the God first, which is Muhammad. 
I just mentioned, isn't it you who came after us? Do you remember what the Quran says? Do you remember? Allah He said to the Christians and the Jews, <laughs> Why you are debating about Abraham? Huh? Why you are debating about him? And yet, yet you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know. You know what? You know that the Torah and the Injil came after him. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid sentence like this? This Quran cannot be a book written by a human being who have little IQ. This is a phrase should be made by someone who is a Jew. A Jew saying to a Christian maybe, okay, why you debate me about Abraham when you came after us? Correct? But you are the one who came at the end and you say this, you idiot. Read with me carefully. Ye people of the book, why dispute ye about Abraham when the law and the gospel were not revealed till after him? Have you no understanding, you idiot? You see what the Quran is saying? So according to your stupid book, the one who come after, he cannot dispute. Look like Muhammad, he forgot that he is the last one. I want to know how in the world Muhammad he says such a statement. How in the world that this is a book of God? If Muhammad is the last one, how you say to the Jews, how you are debating about Abraham when you came after him? Huh? Well, you are the last one. What an idiot. I mean, this guy, obviously, he is under the influence of, uh, uh, of hashish. This is hashish talk. It's like somebody he is in the end in the, in the end of the line and he is asking to get the bread in the first. Like you, let's say you are going to the bakery and there's a long line in front of you or ice cream or whatever. And then he says, why you are disputing about term when, when you are the one who came at the end? And who is the one who is talking? Is the one at the end. This is from God. This is why Erdogan, he try his best to clean the junk of Allah. This is junk. But you know, there is, there is you cannot touch it. That's it. It's too, it's too late. You see, you must name you should. They, by the way, the junk cleaning, they started a long time ago when they wrote the book of Hadith. That was a junk clearance, supposedly. Like this is why they have a book. It's called Al-Bukhari, Sahih Al-Bukhari. What does that mean? It means there's a lot of junk. We get rid of it, which means there's disasters there. There is disasters. So the junk we have now is after filtration. Imagine the stupidity we have right now in the books of Islam is after filtration. So how it was before filtration? And talking about before and after, you guys remind me of the Hadith, if you remember it. Anyone can predict what I will talk about when I talk about before and after? Hmm? Before and after. <clears throat> Let us see. If you remember, Muhammad, he had a plastic surgery. And the purpose of the plastic surgery, it was to fix the stupidity of Muhammad. Now, if you are a Muslim, you might say, I'm insulting, I am not. The hadith saying so. Read carefully. That when Muhammad was asleep, or let us say in a stage between asleep and awake, angels, they came to him and they carry him. And then one of them, they did this plastic surgery. They took him besides Zimzam water, and one of them he took a charge on him 
Jibril cut open the part of his body between his throat all the way to the down to his testicles, not to his chest. And then he clean, and this is what the people here they like it when I say it in English because I say it wrong. Abodomen, abodomen. Okay, are you abond abondum? I should say it different way. Let us say it in different wrong way. Abondomen. Are you happy now? <laughs> and then washed it with zamzam water, with his own his hand till it's clean inside his body and then a golden tray golden tray golden tray i mean come on you want the angel to bring things for muhammad have to do with muhammad is not made in gold it have to be golden tray okay and gold bowl <laughs> mean this is gold bowl full of belief jibril he brought a dish full of belief have you ever heard of a stupid prophet more than this? That there is a person, his name is Muhammad. He needed a plastic surgery. Obviously, Muhammad, he is short in belief. So we have to stuff him with belief. What more belief, please? Okay, you know, can you open the, the, the trunk of your car, please? Because I think we need to change the oil. You know, the oil is not enough there. We have to change your oil or your oil is, is level is not good. And the radiator for the, the water in the radiator is, is leaking. Why Muhammad was leaking belief? So we need to put more belief. So a dish of belief and wisdom. And what is killing me that he needed a dish of wisdom? Why? He was a donkey. I mean, have you ever heard? of such a religion that there is a guy his name is Muhammad he is a prophet of Allah Allah he chose him Allah after he chose him he found that Muhammad is a stupid so we need to fix him he sent his angels his angels they took him in the side of the road they cut his chest they open his chest and they start washing it my friend I make fun of your prophet what you can do about it your prophet is an enemy of humanity this is this is the least I can do for him. This guy is a criminal. He killed. He destroyed. He destroyed nations. So don't tell me don't laugh of my prophet. Your prophet is a fraud. Is a criminal. And instead of saying to me don't laugh about my prophet, what about you refute me? And then nobody will laugh about your prophet. But obviously, because you know that this is really stupid and this is insulting. The story in front of you, which is taught by Muhammad, is a stupid story. And this is why you are ashamed of it. How in the world, you Muslims, you accept a story told by Muhammad like this? That means Muhammad is admitting that he is a stupid and he needs a plastic surgery to fix his stupidity. Why in the world I want to do a plastic surgery for your wisdom? Unless you have none. You tell me. Do we have any Muslim there? Until now, that not even a single Muslim. He texted me. Any Muslim? And you know, additional to that, there is many issues with this story. Do you know what is the uh, number second issue? Anyone knows? How the Muslim they say that if Allah wants something to be, he said to him be. As you see, Allah could not fix Muhammad's stupidity by saying be. Look like Muhammad was so stupid at the point the power of Allah is not working. I am God. Is my name is Allah. I say be is going to be. And then when it's come to Muhammad, I cannot fix him. If we ask Zakir Naik about this issue, what Zakir Naik will say? But then Sitar, they're the person that didn't the prince. And he say a lot of the thing of the Prophet. And he say that in the hadith says that Allah he sent him a death of wood and death of wudam. This is what what? Did the Buddha end up with them? Uh, no, it's this dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Exactly. And he say, how this is possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How this is possible? First of all, for Allah, nothing is impossible. Allah, he can do anything. Mm -hmm. 
and the Ethereum the symbol this and the with him. Allah he knew that the Prophet have a weakness. All of us we have a weakness. I did them, but yesterday I lost my tooth. And that is the sign of my weakness in my tooth. So my tooth is gonna you know because I have a weakness. Some of the brothers say I have a different weakness. As an example, some of the bells, you know, he have a weakness because, you know, like he likes chocolate. This is weakness. So the prophet, he have a weakness too. And his weakness was his belief and his faith. So Allah, he wanted to fix it. And then Allah called Jibreel. Taradan, taradan. Taradan, taradan. Who is this? I'm Jibreel. Huh. Jibreel, your voice like something funny. What happened to you? Wake up! Yes, Allah, sorry, Allah, I was asleep, sorry, Allah. Go right now. Take, open the refrigerator. Get one dish of faith and one dish of wisdom. And don't forget to use a golden dish because Muhammad already is rusty. And go down to the earth. And install them in the chest of the prophet. Maybe that will fix the stupidity. Yes, Allah, yes, I'm going to go right now. Immediately. And then Zach and Naik, he continues saying what happened. So, brother and sister, so Allah, he decided to send Jibreel. Because Jibreel, he have a license to be a doctor. And he is a bit the doctor in his time. Actually, Jibreel, he used to make a man out of territory. What, what, what? Debril used to make a lot of surgery. Debril used to make a lot of surgery. Can you name for me one person? Debril, he did a surgery for him. Yes, I can name for you. You stupid idiot. You just said to me that he did surgery for the Prophet Muhammad. So I can name one person. Ah, so there's only one person. It's one time deal. Like he was practicing in Muhammad. Are you saying? <laughs> this, <laughs> this is religion. And imagine that Muhammad, he told this story after they installed a dish of wisdom in his chest. Muhammad, remember, he told this story after he got now he's a smarter because remember, this is a story he told after he got the dish of wisdom. He's wise now. So if the wise Muhammad is the one who told the story, the stupid Muhammad will tell us what? Hmm? If this is the wise Muhammad, the stupid Muhammad was what? This is after installing wisdom. Do we have any Muhammadan? No, somebody's saying he's a Muslim, but maybe he's a kid. Let us see. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Yes. All right. Can you, like, uh, right, what, what it uh, does mean to be, to say you are a Muslim? What does that mean? It's just my uh, sort of family thing, I guess. It's what? I'm. I guess you could call me an agnostic theist if you really wanted to, like, be specific. No, are you a Muslim but or not? Muslim. Yes. So, what agnostic theist? What does that mean? Because, like, I believe in certain Muslim things, but at the same time, it's kind of like I'm a bit confused. If you know what I mean. Mm. So there's things Muhammad he said you don't like. I suppose, yeah, but I was trying to ask about uh, the Bible, if that's okay. Yeah, but just, you know, for me, my, you see, my topic is Islam. I don't mind to talk to you about the Bible, but after I finish with Islam. So. Oh, uh, okay. I apologize. No, I can no, 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 no problem. No problem. So, what, like you said, there's things you don't like and things you like. What, like, what you like in Islam? Uh, to be honest, the things I, I like, I hear some people like, it's kind of like people I hear people disprove it a little bit so I'm not I'm less sturdy on the things I did I did like before mm. if you know what I mean 
So what do you like still? I'm not, so I'm, not, I'm not getting at the point. What, what do you like in Islam? Well, what I basically heard is that Islam is more consistent with the Old Testament, right? Because I thought that the Trinity was not found in Old Testament, mm. in the Old Testament, like the Torah, right? Mm. But I hear that, you know, in, in the book of Genesis, you have the word, you have the spirit floating over the waters and whatnot. Exactly. What it seems like is, is yeah, the, Trinity, the Trinity is in the Old Testament. So, I mean, yes, the Trinity, I, the Trinity yeah. is not a word you will find. The Trinity is... A summary of a belief right so if we look right. for the word trinity we will not find it in the whole bible but if we look right exactly who is the when we and, see the father we see the spirit we see god is you know uh, uh god came to adam as uh, uh sorry i came to abraham as a man so i mean the the old testament right. is, is full of approval yeah right and the other thing was i sort of thought that uh islam was work is compatible with judaism than uh, Christianity was because I heard some like rabbis right they're talking about the consistency with Islam and how it's more compatible with their beliefs and whatnot but I hear other the sort of deconstruction of that viewpoint I had was I hear other rabbis talking and you know I hear you know if you know who Dr. Michael Brown is you know I've heard his point of view on it mm. so it's sort of like I even hear even rabbis talking about the Trinity and whatnot if you know what I mean mm. See, my friend, first of all, Islam have nothing to do with the Christianity or Judaism, except Islam trying to copy other belief to be a continuous right. uh, of, 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 a, of a collection of religion. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a collection. It's like, a, you know, like if you go in the Quran, you will find that Muhammad, he promised the Christians and the Jews and the Sabian to go to heaven. Now we can let the Christians. Right, the Jews, Baqarah, right? Yeah. We can say, okay, they're Christian, the Jews, because supposedly they believe in the same God, blah, 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 according to Islam. Mm -hmm. But how in the world the Sabi and they will go to heaven when they are people who worship stars? You know? how Right, what, and like Christians, they believe that Jesus is fully man, fully God. Not That's only that, not only that. Be completely you, incompatible with... If you, read, right. if you read the books of the Sabi, right away you will see that the Sabi and believe that Adonai, the God of the Jews, he is the devil. Uh, wait, the Sabians believe what? The Sabians, they believe, they believe, you know, one of the, one, one of the names or the, the say words the uh, Jews they use for God, uh, like Elohim, mm -hmm. Adonai, Hashem, etc. So in their book, they mention that Adonai is the devil. Their God, Adonai, he ordered them to do circumcision for they are following the devil. Right. So the Sabians, yeah, the, the Sabian, they are the enemy of the God of the Jews. All right. So how right. how 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 the three of us became one <laughs> suddenly? <laughs> yeah. Right. You know? It doesn't really. Yeah. That's that's the thing that doesn't make sense. That how could Christians go to heaven in an Islamic viewpoint if they believe right. in a viewpoint that is remember, completely contradictory with the Quran? And remember, Muhammad is speaking in his time. This is not about like previous Christian. They might say they might say, uh, well, uh, oh, he is talking about previous. No, he says in the Ladina Amen. Those who believe, read it. This is a Muslim translation. Those who believe, believe now in the Quran, and those who follow the Jewish scriptures, and those who they are Christians, and those who they are Sabian, they are, you know, they have no problem, they will go to heaven. Okay, how that can be. Right. You know? Yeah, right. So my friend, I mean, why you still call yourself a Muslim? So you should denounce Islam and say Islam is false. I mean, things like that, they require a lot of research, you know. I, because... I still need to do a comprehensive study of the Quran and whatnot, because a lot of what I've heard is from, you know, people like, uh, you know, David Wood and whatnot. So it's not like a, you know, it's not an easy thing to do, if you know what I mean. Why not easy? I mean, you are smart or not, you are not smart? Do you have a brain or do you don't have a brain? I'm not, I'm not smart. I'm not smart. I don't, you know, I don't think so. I think God, he gave everybody a, a gift, but uh, sometimes people, they make a trust. You want to keep your brain in trust? Right. But it's also, it's also some things about Christianity that I just don't understand right my friend let us focus first in islam why you are staying why you keep saying you are a muslim when you are you are you are just with me making fun of the quran i just it's heard by you. default it's what, I, what default i mean, I mean it's what just default, by default my no, it's by default no that's not default so you your family are muslims and you are born as a muslim so now you believe that this is by default this is not true i'm not going to follow my parents just because they're my parents but what if they are worshiping satan what if they are evil what if they are you know 
so we should not do that yeah, exactly. and already you you already made your own comments about negative comment about the Quran and the teaching of the Quran so why you call yourself a Muslim when you are making fun of the Quran again I'm ignorant I have no idea Islam could be like the best thing ever and maybe I just not heard of maybe I didn't read like the you know far into it enough you know my friend I really how Islam is I the best been studying for I haven't oh, listen listen I'm not saying that it is I'm not saying that it is I'm saying you know I have I'm ignorant right I haven't studied far enough my yet. friends stop saying so you are ignorant my friend you just said you just made fun of them you just made fun of the Quran so obviously you are you are overcome the, the, the ignorance of Islam so you are yourself you said doesn't that make sense and that doesn't make sense and that doesn't make sense so whatever you call yourself as ignorant you know all of us we have some form of ignorance I am ignorant in English I, I don't some words I don't know how to pronounce them but that will not hurt me you know and uh, mm. uh, uh, for you already you made comments saying it clearly that oh yeah yeah okay but there's another thing actually there's another thing right mm. so the thing is i see a lot of christian apologists right mm. they interpret the quran through uh the lens of right the hadith right of course i mean but the the thing is is that uh there are certain have you looked into specifically other sects of islam or just you mostly focus on sunni right no, I, for me, I study all of it. Doesn't matter because, but because Sunni. Oh, you can study Shia. You can study Shia, right? Yeah, this doesn't matter. All of them, they are the same. The same madness, you know. Yeah, I haven't looked into the Shia tradition. My friend, my friend, don't waste right. your time with Shia and Sunni. We don't care really Shia or Sunni. This is Quran in front of us. This is the book for both, and the Quran is a stupid book, you know. Right, but the Shia. What lens, and what if, lens if, do you... if, you, if you think that the Shia don't approve what the Sunni have, you are mistaken. They approve most of it. The only problem with the Shia and the Sunni. When it's come to the family of Muhammad, mostly anything have to do with Muhammad and his family that they no, it's not. About. It's not just that. It's definitely not just that though. They have a whole hadith collection. They have a lot of different things. No, no, no. You see, like they, 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 they even they quote Al Bukhari. They quote Sahih Muslim. They quote Al Turmudi. Oh, they quote. They quote. Uh, no. I'm not sure about that. I'm no, not sure I'm, about that. I'm very sure, my friend. I'm, I'm not. I'm very sure. I can show you from every Islamic. Think, well, I've only heard them. For, from what I've heard, they only really quote it when it's sort of supporting their viewpoint. My friend, if it says something like, "My friend, do, oh, do you think you know like a lot of the, you know about Islam more than me?" No. Okay, so let us not you to waste. Definitely no more. Okay, so let us not to waste time. Shia and Sunni, they have different books, yes, but both of them they quote each other to get each other busted, and at the same time they approve what they wish. Yeah. <laughs> they approve. They approve what they okay, wish. Okay, I want a hundred percent. No. I want a hundred percent. They approve, and by doing that, they approve. You know, like now a Muslim, he quote for me the Bible, right? He says to me, Jesus said, Lord, Lord, you know, not everyone says, Lord, Lord, Lord. so yeah, by so quoting this, you are proving it to prove me wrong, right? But you are proved that Jesus is God by, by quoting that verse. The Shia is different. The yeah. Shia, they quote it and they accept it. They accept it. Like as an example, they want to believe, they want to say that Ali is the best. So they quote from Sahih Bukhari and they say, this is true. This is it, correct? Yeah, Ali. I've seen that. So they I've don't reject all Sahih Bukhari. They don't reject all of, of uh, Sahih Muslim. They, uh, you know, they pick up their 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 uh, let us say filtration system, and they use mm -hmm. it. And whatever uh, good for them, they take it. Anything they don't like it, they throw it away. However, Shia yeah. and Sunni, both of them, they worship the same God. They have the same stupid teaching, but both of them they have let us say different fantasy stories. As an example, Ali. He was in India and he was in Baghdad. He was in Iraq in the same time. You know, uh, you know he's a, like he's a, he's a everywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, the family of Muhammad they are created from the light uh, of Allah. Why? Right? Because the Quran they have different interpretation for the Quran too. Like uh, like when the Quran says uh, that Muhammad is a siraj, as an example, siraj which means a lamp. Yeah. So they say Allah here he is saying. Uh, that Muhammad is a, a light for the world and his family all of them they are made of light and they believe that they used to be five Ahl stars bit, right correct so they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah and from their mm -hmm. light from the light their light Muhammad is just a visible image of the light of Allah so he is a light made of light and they use this verse, chapter 33, verse number 46, to prove it. And you can go open right now the Islamic interpretation of the Shia for this verse. All right. And now, Wait, so which surah is it again? Chapter 33, verse number 46. And they, again, they basically say Imam Ali is a light. 
No, they say Muhammad. Yeah, all of them they are light. And Muhammad, Ali, oh, Fatima, Muhammad. and their children, all of them they are light. Right. Yeah. So they are not a human. It like doesn't us. really. It, even, I'm not sure if it, it actually says even that. Even the though, Shia. Yeah. No, you know, I'm, I'm sure. And uh, and the and the Shia they say that before Allah, when Allah He created, uh, 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 like bef this is the long time ago. Allah He created uh, Muhammad. And then he sent him in a mm -hmm. ship, a ship of knowledge, to learn. And then in his uh -huh. in his way in his in his trip, he sweat one hundred twenty four thousand sweat, or, or a drop of sweat, and from every sweat Allah created a prophet. All right. So those are Shia books. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Wait, but, which one? Kitab al Kafi or all of them? You can find those stories all over. Those stories repeated in many books. You know. You yeah. Can go to the Shia I've library. Been, I've been done enough research on that yeah though. anyway my friend i'm not here to, to discuss with you really i mean let us focus on you all right apologies why you call all yourself right. a muslim still i mean it's funny it's a stupid it's dummy religion are you stupid are you dummy are you funny why you want to consider yourself a muslim i mean like again it's something like if you're trying to if you if you want to denounce your beliefs that's something that you have to give enough thought to it's not something you can just do on a whim so you are calling you know? me my friend i'm not trying to insult you but you are calling me and you made right. fun of the quran and until now you don't have you did not make decision so you are making fun of the quran based on what if you don't not make decision i didn't well you can have i mean you don't have to necessarily agree with everything no, you I mean, have. No, you have. No, you most have. Most Christians, you know. No, 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 no. You see, there a Christian who don't agree with the Bible, he is no Christian. A Muslim who don't agree with the Quran, he, right. is, he is no Muslim. That, you know, that's not to play games. So you have to agree, either because you cannot be selective. So if you show me something in the Bible, I can't say, oh, you know what? I don't, I don't believe in this. This is not, not, not right. Either you believe, and this is a Christianity, or you don't believe. Same in Islam. Right. And especially here in the Quran, the one is talking is Allah. It's not like uh, you know the Muslim trying to sometime to quote for us a, a, a phrase from the Bible says uh, that's Satan. He said, but this is Satan saying. This is not God. You know, I can't. Yeah, because, but yeah, in the Quran, right. in the Quran, even when Satan is talking, Allah is the one is talking. Because the one who report the Quran is Allah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for you, you yeah. already you are convinced that this book is full of trash. So why are you still? I never. I mean, I. I, I never said that. You did. I never said that. You did. All you, I said was. No, you made fun of. All I said was that it. the view that. I necessarily. I guess I critiqued it in a way, hmm. but all I said was that the view that Christians could be saved, and then on the one hand, and then on the other hand, it contradicts itself. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. But I'm not saying that the whole Quran is. I'm not saying it's full of trash. Again, I'm haven't done a comprehensive study. I've read it, but. So it's, I guess it, not it have some trash, here. not full, some trash. No, I mean, again, maybe I don't understand it, but I haven't. Okay, let's make it's it. It's not clear. like I haven't. Do you, I have do not you, given do you believe? Thoughts. Stop telling me I don't document it. I'm not too comprehensive. You did. You just told me you searched about the Trinity. You found there's a holy, there's a spirit. You found that God has a spirit. You say you found that uh, mention in the Old Testament. So you did. Same time we showed you. I showed you the second verse about the Sabian, and you agree. I mean, this is kind of doesn't make sense, right? You agreed. So you already agreed that the Quran yeah. have things doesn't make sense. So do you agree with the Quran or you don't agree? Uh all I'm gonna say here is that I don't agree with that specific verse. But you cannot, my friend. If we I find just more agree, things that disagree. We just with. agree yeah, me I and you that this is impossible. Either you agree with the book or you don't agree. If one verse you decide to throw it away, that's mean you throw the whole book. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so now you are out of Islam. Well, again, I there could be something I'm missing, but if it if it does turn out to be false, yeah, of course I would. I okay, have what? But I don't want to like I, I, I. Okay, all I want to say is that it's it's in order to denounce a belief. It's it's not something easy to do. It's. If you know what I mean. No, I do not know what. Because they're still. I'm not. I'm still. You I'm know, I will, I will tell you something. I ate a chicken, and then the chicken is causing me poisoning. So what I do, I throw it out. I throw up. Have Have you ever heard of something called to throw up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was delicious food yeah. when I ate it, and then when into into my stomach, it caused poison. And then my body automatically yeah. reject that food, which is food. It's not really. It's just it's still food. Still, my stomach refuses it. 
So do you have a stomach to swallow this garbage? I mean, look, the same chapter we are reading about Muhammad is being light. This light, Allah, he gave him a promise saying to him that any woman she want to give herself to the mm -hmm. Prophet so the Prophet can have sex with her. What does have to do with God? Think about it. You are a prophet. I have no idea. Okay, so obviously this man he's making it on Quran, making Quran just to, you know. Yesterday I don't know if you were watching an Arab guy, a Muslim guy. I think he's from Saudi Arabia. I asked him the same question. I showed him the Hadith where Aisha she, she get jealous, and she said to him, "Oh, I see that your God he rushed into this, your desire, Muhammad." So Aisha she felt like this guy obviously is a scam. He is making verses just for sex. I mean, this guy already have many wives. Why Allah he need to send him a verses saying any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can do boom boom with her? What does have to do with God? Muhammad he sent to tell people about God. Okay, we got that. Muhammad is a prophet. He sent to be light for mankind. We got that. The, what the light for mankind mm -hmm. have to do with the sleeping with my wife? I I don't know. So, no, you know. Come on, man. You, you know you are smart. I mean, you, you know you are not a fool. What this have to do with this? so you are a prophet of God coming to my door? Hey, okay, but I have you know, to know if hey, it really says that. Yeah, hey, 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 because, hey Khalid, yeah, because I do. Khalid, Mr. Khalid, I am a prophet of Allah, and I like your wife, man. Allah gave me this verse says, any woman I like, she offer herself for because me. It's, okay, because here's the thing, right? Hmm? The scholars that I know, yeah. they have a sort of um, certain verses like that, right? So I hear people like you, people like David Wood, right? See verses like that, and they'll interpret that in that. No, 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 I am not. You know, I can show you. No, 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 no. You see, uh, Christian prince don't do that. I show you the interpretation from their from their books. Do you want me to show it to you? I can give it to you in Arabic. You can go into Google Translate. Which which books? Which books though? The Islamic the Sunni, the Sunni translate the explanation, not mine. Yes. Yeah, see, see, that's the thing, right? Okay. The, the okay. scholars that I talk to, they say, "Oh, you can't trust the Sunni translation." I can you know? show you the Shia. That's, are, that's what's so you, confusing are you, are about you, are it. You, are, you, are, you have... are you a Shia? Yes. All right. Why well, you don't say that from the beginning? <laughs> Shia background. Shia background. <laughs> Why you don't say because that? Because the there's a difference between there's a there's a difference between what I personally believe and what my background is, and sometimes they sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. If you know what I if you know what I mean. All right. So yeah, go ahead. Show me if, if, you, yeah, my, if you could show me the Shia yeah. view. Oh, let's see. If you say to me from the beginning that you are Shia, you will save me. From a lot, I could of, have saved twenty minutes. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's all right, no, no problem, you know. Uh, no, I'm just, yeah. yeah, it's okay, no problem. All right. <clears throat> Let us go to the Shia interpretation. I'm just looking for an official. Wow, your 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 live chat's really nice. Your live chat's really complimenting me. Well, you know. Don't... Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, they're actually. I'm. I'm not even don't, joking. There are actually people complimenting me. Don't look about what no. people say, because sometimes people, you know. <laughs> now there's some there's some nice people. I, I, I will some, tell you uh, about compliment. It doesn't mean that it's good sometimes, even if it sounds good. You know, my mom she think I yeah. I, right. I, my mom she think I'm the most handsome guy in the town, but she's my mother. You know. <laughs> All right. Right. Yeah, I am trying to open the Shia website. It's not opening. There's a Shia library website. This is very well known. For some reason, it says you cannot reach. Uh, is blocked. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, but let me see. Hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what I've seen? I've seen Mizan. Uh, no, I have no idea. All I know is about. I know about Kitab al Kafi, and I know about uh. Mm. Yeah, that's about it, actually. Yeah, but is yeah. it is it a, it's a trusted uh, Shia yeah, Tafsir, right? Old. Yeah, this is old. Uh, yeah, this is you know they, they trust them. Wait, could you could you say it again? Uh, al Mizan, <clears throat> which means the scale. Al Mizan, Tafsir Al Mizan. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> and it's trusted by most 
Sunny, I mean, she has schools of thought, right? Yeah, but uh, you see, I'm I'm trying okay. to, because I, w I wanted to go to uh, Shia library, uh, but um, it's not working. Let us see here. This is Biharul Anwar. This is better. Okay, it says. Uh, okay, this is uh, I will put for you on screen. I will put you, I will give the link in the in the chat. All right. So you can sure, you, yeah, you can you can click and you can I don't know if you speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? A little bit, but I'm not very good at it. But All I right. no. know a bit more than like a no problem. complete beginner. No problem. Uh, you can use Google Translation. I just post the link for you. All right. So here this is Biharul Anwar. Mm -hmm. You know. It says here. Oh, Biharul Anwar. Yeah, I know about that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they are saying here. Uh, they meant the the women of Quraysh and uh, his cousin and the cousin of the cousin uh -huh. blah 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 etc and women they immigrate with him which means Muhammad he can sleep with them. Mm -hmm. uh, then he says mm -hmm. So uh, which means they are saying which mean we made for you uh, any women who do you believe in the oneness of Allah and she offer herself to you without the worry. Hmm? And a woman, mm -hmm. she is not believer. She she is not lawful. If the prophet he wanted to have sex with her, yes, thank you, her. Which mean, uh, this is the second uh, uh, part of the verse in the Quran. That uh, this is will be functional or the the uh, uh, the mark of it that uh, the prophet having sex with the woman if he wish, which mean if he have a desire. And then it says uh, here, you see, it says, So they are quoting sentence by sentence and they give explanation. And then it says, which is a privilege only for you, not for the rest of the Muslims. All right. Now, this is the Shia. Right. Okay. Why Allah want to make a privilege for the Prophet about women they offer themselves? This is Shia now. What do you think? What does it have yeah. to do with God? Yeah, nothing shouldn't be giving special privileges and why why does why this prophet he have a privilege about sex and about money i mean he should be actually jesus he washed the feet of his disciples and when they refuse they say that what are you doing you are our lord he said if you don't let me do it you don't belong to me i don't know you so the privilege of jesus mm -hmm. i want to wash your feet the privilege of muhammad i want to sleep with mm -hmm. your wife You see the difference? Yeah. All right. So, uh, what does have to? Do? The first question you need to ask yourself: What does have to do with God? And why does God? He is worried about women. Uh, uh, he's saying to them, "Okay, I will open for you today. We have a uh, uh, we have a discount. Okay, we have a Black Friday. Hey, Black Friday. Any woman she want to give herself to the Prophet, so the Prophet can do boom boom to her. What does have to do with God? <sighs> yeah. Right. So this is the Shia, and you are a Shia, yeah. so it's the same. The Sunni or Shia, it's the same. And then the verse after, yeah. look at the verse after. It says, uh, And if you, if you, if there is some you don't like to sleep with, you can de delay them or you can de refuse them. This man, he made a verse saying, Wait, she can I'm confused right now. So is this, is this, this is Bahar and one of the Hadith, right? Yeah, this is Bihar and one actually they are, show, is they are even showing you in Bihar and war they are showing you other reference too. But this is I just gave you the link. Did you open the link? Yes, I did. I'm gonna right. link right now. Yeah. Uh this is Aqida.com, which is very very much Shia website. Yeah. I think it's very famous for you. Mm. And you will see here you see the page number? You see there's the page number. You will see page yeah, one eighty one. Yeah, you can use Google Translation. If you have somebody who speak Arabic, he can translate to you. Maybe he can translate better than mine. Not because my Arabic is not good, but maybe because his English and Arabic is better than mine. You know, uh, but right. obviously here, Muhammad he made another verse because there is women they are coming and he don't like them. So he said, "Oh Allah," he said to me, "If there is some women you don't like them, you can or you like to not sleep with them right now. You can delay them. I mean, what is that? Is that a bazaar? You know, come later. You know." And though may differ right. or turn any of them as he please, this is became a please. You know, uh, this is God. Is you know, did, did Musa he make a special rule for him about sex, or he gave no. he gave a law for all the Jews and he was the first one to follow it? Muhammad he have a privilege, 
Yep. If you go to the books of the Sunni, they say that he has 16 privilege. Nine of them is about six. Nine or ten. Ten, uh, six and money, sorry. What kind of privilege is that? Why he need a privilege? So when somebody, he says to me, I'm a prophet, and then we, I have to examine... So what would you say to someone who says that, like, what would you say to someone who says he needs more wives because he needs to take care of more people? That's essentially... I'm not saying... I'm not claiming that. My That's friend, the claim my, I've my, heard my friend, okay, from so, scholars. So let, let, us, let, us, uh, let us make it this way. There's people who make donation to me, mm -hmm. all right? Let us say there's a woman. She said right. to me, I want to take care of you by sleeping with you. I mean, it's, this is stupid, isn't it? What a different. There's no different. So yeah. you cannot make, okay, you, can, yeah. you cannot take care of a woman can. unless you sleep with her. You know? What is that? I mean, what is Oh, what? yeah, I see. Yeah. So Because it's not just marriage we're talking about. You know, offering yourself. So you are, you are, you are making conditions. I will not, I will not uh, support you unless you take off your pant. I mean, what is this? You know, how this can be from God? You know? Oh. So, uh, uh, we cannot find, uh, we cannot find any excuse for those, uh, those things because simply they are stupid and nobody can defend them. You know? Yeah. Right. And you know, the Shia, they have, I mean, uh, like we, uh, I don't know if you watch me all the time, how, how long, for how long you watch my videos? I've not, I've, found your channel like last week oh okay you know uh like uh you know the shi like we, we make fun of the hate of the sunni which is very stupid right but right if you read the hate of the shia yeah, you will die sort of you, you will die laughing you know yeah okay if you could refer me to those i would appreciate it because the thing is is that when i hear sunni hadith i've been told my whole life oh the sunni hadith they're not they're completely wrong the shia hadith are way better I've okay. never. I, well, that's the thing. I haven't okay. seen much from that. As an example, you said you you know the book of Al Kafi, right? Yes. Okay. In the book of Al Kafi, I think it, in chapter number five, it says that when you uh, uh, when you have sex, don't talk when you have intercourse because if you do so, uh, your child will be mute. Will not talk. <laughs> you know how oh. how in the world this is can be i mean you know what what is this so we make fun of the of the sunni books yes but shia books is not not better you know shia books is uh, so what would you say to the response so i brought that same objection once to uh imam right and he told me oh well they're not all they're not all 100 percent. if there if there's a hadith that contradicts logic or contradicts the quran or contradict science you can't take it that's what that's what you told me no 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 you see you see and that even then you see now, even then that didn't make sense to me uh, the question is how come now it doesn't make logic why it was making logic all the time so it was holy but because they don't want to lose you leaving the cult and they cannot defend it so they come with this excuse but this is was their logic for the last uh, 14 centuries well that, well yeah, they would say. Here we go. Say, uh, I, I found the reference. It's not. It's not authentic. No, it's authentic. This is the book of Al Kafi. This is the same as Al Bukhari for the Shia. You know, this is the same as Al Bukhari. Mm. It says here. This is the reference. As as I remember, chapter... is there a chain reference here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it says like Ali bin Muhammad bin Bintar and Ahmad and etc. Uh, and 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 Ibn Qasim. That's helpful. That's yeah, helpful. Yeah, and 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 Abdul Abu Abdullah yeah. alayhi salam. He says. Don't talk when you have sex, because you 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 will inherit or your children will inherit to be dumb, dumb or mute. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you read, the more you read, it's it's uh, uh, stupid things. I know, like you know, if you if you read it, you can you can you will die laughing. I advise you actually to read the book of Al Kafi, so you can see how stupid it is. I mean, so the Shia or the Sunni, it doesn't matter really. I mean, both yeah. of them. Both of them, they have a lot of stupid things, and it's hard even to to comprehend the, the, the stupidity. Uh, uh, let me remember other stupid things. And, you know, it says, uh, do you know about... Uh, I'm surprised you've actually studied it, because it, there's not a lot of Christian apologists who actually know about this stuff. Well, most of uh, those you call them, you know... Uh, like you mentioned to me, David Will, etc. Those people they knew what is translated in English and they read, you know. But uh, 
uh, yeah uh, all the Islamic Kansas books 90 90 maybe 99 percent is still in Arabic not in English uh, let us see yeah, right. let us see some of the books of the Shia uh, what what do you say about uh, who is the Imam according to the Shia how we know that somebody is an Imam which is a sign he's from, from the well you mean infallible imam or like regular? No, the imam who would lead... Because Shia can have yeah, they, a regular the, imam. No, there is an imam for the, to lead the nation, the, the one who lead the nation. Oh, you mean the, the infallible? Okay, yeah, that no, would like, be like, like, like from the... Like Al-Mahdi as uh, an example. Al -Mahdi. Lineage of Muhammad, right? Like Al-Mahdi, you know, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, lineage from Muhammad, yeah. and he basically... So, uh, uh, they make the lineage from Muhammad, how, and according to them, they make no okay, mistakes. Okay, how we know, how we know... You know, and actually, no, it's, it's even go for both. Actually, if you go and read the interpretation, it says, whoever is an imam, a real imam, not a fake imam, it says here, uh, mm. uh, which mean the reason to go to heaven, the reason to go to heaven if you're a Shia, is, is, is to drink the, the piss uh, and the pee of the imam. And then he says, and it is not for in the in, in, in the piss of the imam and in their and their pupil, anything is bad or dirty, nothing, no, no bad smell, but mm. it is as a perfume, you know. And then read carefully, and uh -huh. I will give you the page number. But من شرب بولهم وغائطهم ودمهم يحرم الله عليه النار. And the one who drink their piss. And their and 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 their pupil and their blood, even their blood. Allah He forbid him from entering fire, and he must enter heaven. And then he says, he mentioned to you here, the book, uh, the other reference. It says, "Anwaru uh, wilaya liayat Allah al-akhwand, etc." And page number four four zero. All right. Uh, mm, did you put it in the chat? Uh, yeah, you let me let me let me find you an official website for this, so I can post in the chat. Give me a second. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you know the, the Shia or the Sunni. I mean, we have the same madness. The Shia they are more into worshiping the family of Muhammad. The Sunni they worship Muhammad, and then they follow the enemy of the family of Muhammad. Uh, here we go. This is the book. Uh, actually, this yeah, is a, that's the... this is the same Aqida. So this is a Shia website. It's okay. Let me post it for you. Uh... All right. Here we go. Uh, let me pause for you. All right, here we go. This is the link. I because I wanna I don't wanna give you a link which is not really an official link, you know, because you might say, oh, this is uh, this website is not yeah, official, you appreciate know. It. So yeah, I just posted for you. I don't know if you can see it. Is the link showing? Yeah. Oh, people. They okay, are, so this is. Um... People, uh, okay, people are saying no screen, guys. Easy, easy, no screen. I will show you. I was looking for the person for the reference. Take it easy. Take it easy. Here we go. They are screaming, saying there's no screen, no screen. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, yeah, hold on. You know, there's there is many. I mean, I just I show you this website, and uh, you can check the reference. I advise you always, if somebody said to you something, don't take it for granted. Just you know, go and see. Uh, look at this hadith here. Um. Uh, 
like a C. The, the issue is the Shia website, the one Shia library, is not working, which is the best website actually to show reference from. This is official, but look like they did not pay for hosting, so the website is down. Uh, mm. Let us see here. All right, this is a Shia website too. Let me show you this hadith. This is from the book of Al-Kilani. You see, for some reason, when I try to open Al-Kilani book, this is a Shia library, I click in it, it doesn't open. You see, I click, it's not open. This is the best Shia website, shiaonlinelibrary.com. You see here, this is Al Kafi, uh, page number 388, very number one. It says here, the Imam, he have 10 signs. First, he will be, you see, it's not working. It says the site cannot be reached when I click in it. So it's and you're unlucky. I mean, yeah, the resources are scarce. What you can do is you can go on the, you could be able to go on the Internet Archive. I want the Shia website. I don't want. Maybe you'll uh, find it there. I want. Uh, okay, here. Okay, let us see this one. Uh, it says here. The Imam he have ten signs. Number one, he will be born, and he is circumcised. Okay. And mm. if he fell in the ground, he fell in Fair his ass, he fell in his ass. He will fall in his ass. Ah, okay. You know? And uh no, he yeah. sorry, right, we're I, off I, to a bad start. I did not I did not uh, quote it. You know you know the rest? You know the rest? If he fell in his ass, what he would say? You know, right? Uh no. Okay, so the Imam, if he is an Imam, truly an Imam. Oh, you highlight it? No, yeah. If he fell in his ass, he will say Shahada right away. Like he fell in his ass right away. The second his ass touched the floor, he will say Shahada. And he will not have, if he have orgasm, he will not get uh, dirty. You know, he's still uh, clean. And uh, his eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep. Mm. And he never do yawning. And he never stretch his body. And he can see from his back as he see in the front of him. And when uh, and his uh, 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 smell, his uh, uh, fart, uh, his uh, piss, his poo poo, is a sm the smell like musk. And here it says to you, the book is Al Kafi, hmm. page number three one nine, volume number one, uh, Kitab al Hujja, the book of Hujja, uh, the chapter of the birth of the Imams. This is the Shia. You are Shia, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like, uh, and you will see right away. We, we we were talking about the Shia. They call the Sunni. You remember? You remember? So here, if you go down, you will see them. To uh, sorry, wait. Sorry, could you repeat that? You remember I told you that the Shia they quote only what they like from the Sunni. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So look here. They are Selectively. trying. They, they are answering somebody a question. Said. And it's mentioned in the books of the Sunnah many hadith about drinking the piss of the Prophet. You know, by the companion, as an example, the mother of Ayman and, right. and, and, and the mother of Yusuf, and uh, etc. And then the Prophet, he says, the one who drink my mm. piss, Allah will not, he will not, like uh, the, the, the hellfire will not touch his uh, stomach. So he is saying, well, if, if the Sunni, they believe in the same thing. Mm. Why they are looking well, at us? That's one thing they agree on. You know, yeah. So the Sunni, they believe in the same thing. Why they are laughing? You know, what is different is going to make if it's Muhammad or uh, yeah. or, or Ali, you know, you see the hypocrisy of the Sunni. The Sunni, they make fun of you as a Shia, yeah. 
that because you believe that the fault, yeah. you know, the Sunni, they have hadith about the fault of Muhammad is like a mosque. Actually, when Muhammad, he, uh, he do poo the earth swallow his poo This is the Sunni. The Shia are the same, you know? So Sh Shia and Sunni, the difference between them. But they just, them, they apply that to the Imams, right? Yeah. And then the, the, the Shia and the Sunni, mm -hmm. if something, let us say, fit with their propaganda, they would accept Shia hadith. You know, like here they are, quote, they right. are here they are quoting from uh, for yeah. them. Uh, ibn Hajar. So they are quoting for you from uh, the Sunni books, etc., etc., etc. You know, so the Sunni they have yeah. the same stories, and he is saying to them, okay, it's a Shia because the one is asking questions, saying the Sunni they are making fun of those hadith. What I will say to them? He say, hey, hello, they have the same stories. Let me show you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah. So Shia and Sunni, they are two faces of one coin. And that coin is called a stupid in the language of currency. You know? Right. So what do you think, my friend? Do you still want to be Shia? Sunni? Shia Muslim? <laughs> I mean, I have to. I, mean, I have to admit. Not really. If, I have to admit. You know, see, I, I think. I think. I don't know your name, but I think I am an imam because honestly, when I go to the bathroom, there's no smell. Alhamdulillah. You know, and once I fell in my ass and I said shahada, <laughs> okay, yeah. and I will tell you a secret which nobody knows. I was born circumcised. <laughs> my mom, she said the cat bite it, <laughs> but I don't believe her. You know. So I mean, this is the Shia Sunni. It's the same madness, same garbage. This is all, you know. But today, today, uh, you know, in the, yeah. in this world today, Muslims they don't want to face the truth because the second he stands in the front of the mirror, he will see that he is a camel and his back doesn't look good. You know, they they right. attack others, but they cannot see. Uh, like what you can say about Jesus, you know, what, what bad things you can say, nothing. But they attack us for no, believing that Jesus is God, but yet they are the one who worship them. I mean, we, we believe Jesus is God, but we don't say we're going to drink his pee, if he have any. You know what I mean? I mean, we are yeah, the, we are the one we are yeah, the one who worship weird. him, but we don't, we don't go that, that uh, 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 like, we don't go stupid and mad. So they are the one who say we don't worship men, yet they drink their piss. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What kind of shoes you wear? You wear, are you asking me? You wear yeah. You wear black shoes. Yeah. I did. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the Shia? What the Shia believe about black black shoes? I'm gonna guess it's like a bad a bad omen, right? Well, no. It causes a problem for excuse my language to your penis. If you wear a black shoes, you will not be able to have sex. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. You know, like I, I know a person. Oh he, he was working blue, uh, black shoes, and he went to get married. And he called me. He said, "Hey, CP, I, I did not. I could, not a... I could not do it." I said, "Hey, uh, you stupid! You you are wearing black shoes for the last week. Hello. So what do you expect? You know. So read with me here. This is uh, this is so you. basically it's like black shoes cause erectile dysfunction or something. Yeah. Uh, this is. Let us see uh, here. Let us see if we can find it here. I need to find it. Yeah, all actually, all those books actually they are full of superstition stories. So simply, if you wear a yellow shoes, your private part will be functioning very good, you know. Uh, but if you wear black shoes, you are really in trouble. Mm. Um, let me see if I can. Which, which source is this from again? Sorry, you probably. Yeah, yeah, let me. I will give you the reference in a second. Give me a second. Oh, Al Kafi. Four five eight seven seven. Let us see. Where is the high five eight seven seven? All right, let us see. 
Oh, someone in your chat found it, I think. No problem. I mean, maybe somebody can. But it's not like official. Yeah, I, you know, I find, I have it, but I want to. Yeah, show, but it's in like a form. I, I want to show it to you in official website, and you see, I'm trying, but look, I mean, I, it keeps saying to me there is a problem with the uh, the the library, you know. So this is the website usually I use for the Shia. It's a huge library, but now we will find it in different way, different place. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't want to give you something. It's not. Uh, it's not authentic. Official. It's official, let's say. Sorry. You know, usually this website work all the time, but it's your lucky day. You know. Let us see this one here. Okay, here we go. This is better. Oh man, this book here. I found the book, but look how huge the text is like uh, it's uh, there's something wrong with the let us see if we zoom out zoom in uh, out let's see something wrong with the page okay here we go um, let us see if we can find yeah I cannot even search inside because this is like a PDF file inside the website you know, uh, but yeah. let's see. Can... Okay, here we go. This is the book of uh, Wasail Shia, volume number five, uh, hadith number five, not five, nine, three, three, I don't know what does that mean exactly by mm -hmm. it was by making the number this way. I think they are quoting from other book too. And here in this, in this website, I will post it for you. This is page number 68, remember that. And then here, just you know, look for the number, this number 5933. And then here it says that Abu Abdullah, he saw me wearing a black shoes. And he said to me, Oh, Ubaid, why you are wearing a black shoes? He says, uh, uh, he, he said to him, and he continues saying, don't you know that it has it's three things? There's three things about it, or three, let's say, uh, things connected to it. He said, it make your penis sleep and make your uh, vision weak and it's more expensive than the rest <laughs> <laughs> and then he says and the man when he wear it he don't control his his wife uh, and his son will be bad all of this because you wear a black shoe so look what happened well by wearing a black shoe your life is gone your penis is not working. Even if you play the anthem, will not stand up. Your vision is very bad. You cannot see. You know, like you, you might, you, you might, you might think your wife is beautiful, even though she don't look beautiful, which is a good thing in this case. And uh, it's more expensive. In the top of that, the man who wear it, he don't control his family, and his mm -hmm. sons or his children will be evil. All of this for wearing a black shoe. So wait, who's who's supposedly? Who's supposedly saying this? Um, this is all is coming like, from Ali. Which, which Ali, Ali, supposedly Ali, saying Ali, Ali can, etc. Those are the descendants of Ali. All the way coming from 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 those are uh, Imam Masumin. You know. So oh, are, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know. So you cannot complain about it. You know. Yeah. So what you can say, you know, mm. that's it. And then uh, there is more things about yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, more th more funny stories about the, the shoes. I mean, there, there is tons of stories. Uh, let us see. Uh, you see, in here, this in this book, it says uh, the rules of wearing uh, clothing uh, uh, not in the time of prayer. Uh, the, the 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 chapter of uh, makeup. 
and etc so those are chapters each one of them is about what you should do what you should not do you know so if you read it you will go crazy if you read all mm -hmm. of it like here here it says uh, uh, it's it's not it's not liked to wear black shoes why because we told you why but it is lovely to wear white shoes or yellow shoes let us go to the yellow shoes باب استحباب لبس النعل الصفراء uh, number 40 حديث number 5936 it says uh, uh, Abdullah he said uh, uh, Abi Abdullah he said the father of Abdullah he said the one who wear yellow shoes he is going to be happy until he destroy it and then uh, I mean the, there's many and uh, like there's one of them I will try to find it for you to see, you can see it the one who wear yellow shoes, his penis will be strong too. You know, so black shoes, yes. black yeah. black shoes will make you. Uh, right, yeah. Black shoes will make you lose it. Yellow shoes will make you have it. Good for you. Yeah. What do you want more? <laughs> yeah. This is the wisdom. So when the Shia make yeah. fun of the Sunni and the Sunni makes fun of the Shia, I mean, both of them they have the same madness. You know, it's just different. Uh, Different books, but the story, right. the story is all of it is the same. So, so now, so are there any so like after all of this? There, are you still are going to be still, still? You want to be Shia? Of... Come on, you are laughing with me. I mean, I heard you laughing, you know, and you agree with me. So why you still you want to call okay, yourself yeah. Shia, my friend? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, I've, I don't know to be honest. That's what was, I mean, that's why I came here for just to sort of well I don't know, figure it out I guess I'm here to help you so you know just say it I am out of this garbage you know and this is not this is not good for you this is this is even it's an insult to your you know to your intelligence you know I mean imagine that uh, tomorrow you, you will have a son yeah. and then his your son he say hey dad why you are wearing black shoes so who is the one who step with my mom then if you are wearing black shoes and you have me <laughs> You know, <laughs> obviously it's not you then. <laughs> right. Yeah, like uh, like yeah. A, a kid, you would go to Shia Imam, he said to his dad, if you are my father and always you wear black shoe, so how you were able to make my mother have me with the black shoe? Either the hadith is stupid or you are not my father. <laughs> right yeah <laughs> so yeah i guess it's ridiculous to say that your shoe color affects your infertility your fertility let me hear it from you it is ridiculous Whatever. it is ridiculous to be shia sunni or shia it doesn't matter say it come on <laughs> just say it i'll say that i'll say that those traditions are ridiculous it's, um uh, so, yeah those, uh, so. those traditions are ridiculous i agree uh, but don't you agree that all of it is stupid? Well, I, I mean, there can't. I agree. There can't be traditions like that that are authentic. If, if I mean, this is the authentic. This is, I mean, this, that just seems like this superstition. Is the authentic, no, no, no. You see, we, we we don't go and say this is not authentic. For us, there's things we believe in. That's it. I'm not going to play games with you. Says I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. So you can go right now and show me. I say, okay, this is the Bible. If right. if there is some, even if it's there, I will not say this is weak. I will say yes, it's written there. I will say uh, we cannot deny it, uh, regardless what you want to say about it. But the Muslim they play games. Like as an example, uh, mm -hmm. is it true that Muhammad there's things they used to fly and come from his nose? There are things that, uh, like, what do you mean? There is a there is birds. There is come some kind of birds. They come from the nose of the prophet, and they are bigger than uh, what they call it, loctos. It's a small, smaller than loctos and bigger than a fly. No, that's not true. Well, this is what they say. You know, let me see if I can find it for you. I'm just remembering things, but the problem this website is not working. Um, let us see, birds, birds. Uh, 
Okay. Let us try here. <clears throat> All right, I found it. This is from the Shia website again, Akida website. Uh, it says here, Hadith number 10, from, 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 from. It says uh, that the Prophet and the peace upon him, blah, 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 uh, that there is birds they used to come from his nose, from his left, the left side of his nose, which you know, like you have two holes, the left one, and the, a bird come out, and it is smaller than a loctos and bigger than a fly, and it keep flying until it goes enter the the, the throne of Allah, enter the judgment day. Eh. What is that? All right. Uh, Muhammad he said here. This is the Hadith number eleven. Uh, he said uh, that every Friday night, angels come from the sky and they have pens in their hands made of gold. And uh, uh, the books is made of sil uh, silver. And they don't write in that night, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. except the prayer, uh, 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 prayer of Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. So uh, do more of it. All right. And he says to him there, O oh Omar, to pray on the, uh, it's from the Sunnah. You see the Muslim Shia, by the way, they claim they are Sunni too. Sunnah is, let us say, that like Orthodox, you know. So, O oh Omar, it's from the Sunnah, which means from the practice of the Prophet, yeah. that you, uh, uh, to, to pray in Muhammad and the family of Muhammad every Friday, a thousand times, and every other days, one hundred times. I mean, this is worship for Muhammad, you know? Yeah, but I like the hadith about things come from the nose of Muhammad, you know? I wish I wish I have Muhammad, you know, like now. Right. I can take him to the to uh, uh, to Lissa Square in London and we can uh, put some, like, uh, he, he make those tricks and the people there will donate money, you know? Hey, Muhammad, did that bird come from your nose, you know? And then people they give money like wow how we can do that everything that's the you know that's amazing uh, let us see um, okay do you know how many language the Imam Al Hassan you speak no okay let me show you the hadith. I mean, this guy, he did not go to school, but, you know, he, he, he got it right. So, uh, in the book of Basair al-Durajat, page number 514, it says, I cannot open the website, but I can see it in the search engine. You can see it with me. Here, it says that he have two cities. One of them is in the east and one of them is in the west. And the, the 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 fence of the cities are made from iron, and every city have seventy thousand uh, uh, like a uh, door, made of gold, and have seventy thousand thousand language, and he speak them all, seventy thousand thousand, which means seventy million. All right, each language is different from the other language, and he speak them all. You cannot do the same as, uh, you know, the grandsons of Muhammad. I mean, this is, I mean, I, I speak only, uh, I think I speak 6,999,000 languages. But he, he did beat me. He, he speaks so 70... For the other examples, like... The other hadiths you pulled up, like having yellow shoes, for example, game, or affecting anything regarding you having erectile dysfunction or anything. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But... It would be possible for God to give someone the ability to speak seventy thousand languages. It's it's at least in theory possible. Well, it's, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's a stupid whatever you want to say about it. Obviously, I mean, but you, but uh, but the issue is. Yeah, but you could say, but you could also say that like, 
You could also say that like uh, the stories about Jonah or any of the other prophets are ridiculous. But to me, that that kind of seems unfair if you're going to say that one of those miracles no, are ridiculous. No, you see, I mean, one. okay, okay. No, I'm not saying, you see, when it's come to miracle, I say it's a miracle. But what the purpose of those yeah, things? Yeah, do you know what I mean? You know, he speak the 77,000, what is that? I mean, where, where is he and how they knew that? Where they got this from? Uh, you know? So I you know this is this is this is uh, this is beyond this is not miracle and and this is the grandson son of Muhammad. What does have to do with even with God? I mean, is he a prophet? So what the Shia did, they took the grandsons or the children of Muhammad as gods. Very simple, you know. Yeah, I I guess I can see that. Yeah. So what we can, you know, who can defend that? Uh, okay, in that case, I guess I would, I, I would ob object to that because it doesn't make sense to give an imam, for example, uh, the ability to speak seventy thousand languages. I mean, everything about those imam is is, is that they are like gods. I mean, like, so yeah, I guess the I... guy, his piss is holy, and if you drink it, you go to heaven, and uh, his his fart is musk. If he if he fell in the ground and he will fill in his ass for sure, and then he, right away he will say uh, shahada. Right. Uh, 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 I mean, oh, this this is a, this is an act of worship, you know. This is why if you go to Iraq and you are a Shia, right. if I go to Iraq now, now I make fun of those hadith, they will kill me right away. You know, if I go to Saudi Arabia and I, oh, I, yeah. I make fun of it, they will not because 100%. they are Sunni. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but you do the same. You do the you opposite, know, vice know, versa. In the, in the in, same thing. In the next to the grave of Al Hussein, they have a problem. They are out of uh, dust, or out of dirt. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Shia, they are taking the dirt because the Hadith says that the one who eat the dirt, he will go to heaven. You know. This is why if you mm -hmm. go, you know, there's videos on YouTube, you can watch them, you know, their videos, they are fighting over the dirt. So the, so the, the, the mullahs there, they keep putting dirt in the ground because they, there's no dirt. They have, put, they put dirt around the mosque because the Shia, they go and they, they each one of them, he want to grab as much dirt as he can and he would eat it. It's not the dirt you take it with you, you would eat it. Why? Because the Hadith say so. Yeah. The hadith says that if you eat the dirt uh, of of the of the of the grave or around the grave of Al Hussein, it is holy, and if you eat from it, your your uh, your disease, your illness will be you will, you will be healed. You know, so those poor people who they are, uh, you know, poor, they are not educated. You know. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Look, this is the this is the highest imam right now in Iraq, and they are asking him. This is the Imam Assistani. This is his website, official website. All right, and he is the highest imam for the Iraqi Shia. Mm -hmm. This guy, he can go for war. Actually, he is the one who launched the war against ISIS because they are killing Shia, and he is the one because of him. You know, tens of thousand people join, take arms, and they fight the Sunni. So the question here. Is it okay to eat? Wait, I know, I know this guy. I know this guy. Yeah. Is it okay to eat uh, mud and dirt? Oh. The answer, you know, no, it's not okay except the grave of Al Imam Al Hussein for the purpose of medication, and it's not allowed to eat any other dirt. You know, you can use Google Translation. You know, translate. Sistani, into... Sistani, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. I'm not making fun of him. I'm saying this is what they believe. You know, this is what they, you know. So they are asking him, is it okay to eat mud and dirt? Read it. I, I use Google translation. Eat mud and dirt. Question, what is the ruling of on eating? I mean, you will not find those things except in Islamic websites. You will not find a Christian saying, I want to eat mud. I mean, okay, a, a Christian is calling the priest says, can I eat, is it okay to eat mud? I mean, what is that? Why in the world do you want to eat mud? You know? And then he says, no, it's not okay to eat. It's forbidden to eat. Read when we care for the answer. It's forbidden to eat clay or mud, uh, which is soil mixed with water when it is diluted, as well mud, which is dry, clay, etc. And then he says, except from, let us see where it says that, <clears throat> uh, except from 
the I hope the translation is not gone. Where is the translation of Al Hussein? Uh, I don't see the what happened to the answer. Answer it's forbidden to eat clean. Yes, there is nothing wrong with the, with that. Is mixing with the green, uh, with early like dirt, the green example consumed there, you know, etc. But you see, the translation is gone. The translation of Al Hussein is gone. Yeah, it was saying it clearly that except except the grave of Al Hussein, you know, here it's gone. Yeah, here we go. Actually, here. Aha, uh -huh. sorry, sorry. It's not gone. It's here. There is an exception. So in the beginning, he says, no, you cannot eat clay. All right. You cannot eat clay. However, he says, mm -hmm. clay is excluded from the clay of the grave of Imam al Hussein. See it? For medicine purpose. He, the translation says hospitalization, but it's for medicine. So you cannot eat clay. You cannot eat mud. It's forbidden. But it is, if it is from the grave of al Hussein, you eat it. Sure, you eat it. There's nothing wrong with mixing it with water, and you know, and mm. uh, yes, yeah. How is the soul of the grave? So, is there the like a scriptural the basis for that? Uh, eating the second is there soul. a scriptural basis for Sistani saying that? Sorry, what you say? So, is there like a, a basis for Sistani saying that? Or yeah, sure, saying... because this is coming from so the what from, Sistani says from, you can eat from the from the highest Imam from that from the from the children of Ali, you know. He's not making things up. He's just agreeing. This is true. And then he says, eating the sacred uh, soil for healing is either by swallowing it and swallowing it or by dissolving it in the water. You know? So the Shia believe if you eat the mud of the grave of Al-Hussein, uh, that will heal you. You know? That's why they are fighting. That's why they keep adding uh, soil next to the grave. They are out of it. You know, there's millions of Shia every year they go to visit the grave and they are fighting over the dirt. And you know, like you have, you are talking about tens of millions coming mm -hmm. from Iran, coming from etc. So, uh, it is what they believe. Are you going to believe in that? Well, no, I wouldn't. But uh, no, it's, it's mean, up to you if you want. It's okay. I have, care what I, says. I, I have connection. This is not a, this is not about Sistani, my friend. This is not a Sistani. A Sistani is confirming what is written in his books. He is just a scholar. He's saying yes, this is true. You know, you should do that. Yeah, in that case, I don't. In that case, in that case, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but uh, but I mean, if there's what? actually if there's actually a basis for that. But why you don't try it yourself? We should have tried. No, there is a basis for it's sure. Inedible. This is this is like you can find it in the book. It's called Mafati Hujinan, the keys for heaven, page number five four seven. This is where Asistani is getting this reference from. And then, uh, if you ah, eat, okay. if you eat different dirt, then you will become hypocrite. If you became different dirt, if you go to the book of Al Kafi, mm. very number two, you will see if you eat dirt, you will become hypocrite. But if you eat the dirt of Al Hussein. Then that's good for your health. You will, you know, if you are sick, you will not be sick no more. Yeah. Uh, mm. I mean, it's endless. Uh, I don't know. So, what do you think, my friend? You will stay Shia? You will still call yourself Shia? I mean, based on that, I wouldn't. So you would call yourself Muslim? I mean, based on what you said, probably not. That's wonderful. So you left Islam, my friend. I'm so happy for you. You know, you are a person who decided to use his brain, and obviously, this is not, this is not a religion. I mean, what is this? Uh, this is not. Uh, we are exist in the year two thousand twenty-one. And still, there's you know, a human being will believe in this. So as long as you decide to leave Islam, and I'm so happy for you, you know, you you made you made your mind, and you come to the conclusion which is, should take from long time. 
It took me some time to convince you, but it's okay. What about what about you accept Christ? What do you think? As long now you are, like, what do you want to be an atheist? What do you think? Well, I, well, I have actually. I mean, again, I still have objections that I some certain things about Christianity I don't really understand. Okay, ask me. I'm here with you. Okay, well, that's actually okay. So, basically, the gospel, right? Yeah. G Jesus dies for atonement of sins, right? Because he's perfect, because he's God in the flesh, right? Okay. And so why would so what's the why why do you have to accept like Christ in the first place? Wouldn't his death uh, essentially atone for everybody regardless of whether or not you accept him? If you know what I mean? No, I'm trying to so you are saying why it is a must to accept him to go to heaven? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us say, let us say I'm a firefighter. All right. And then I come to your house mm -hmm. and I say, well, hey, you know, mm -hmm. next month, uh, you know, you will have a fire in your house tomorrow or after five minutes. And there is a problem in your, let us say, gas. It's leaking gas. I need not listen to me. And I come to you again and say, hey, listen, you will have fire. You will be, you will be burned. And you don't listen to me. You don't have to. You don't have to accept what I'm saying to you. But then the fire come and the fire will eat you. So you see here in the Christianity, there's a free will, not like in Islam. So it's your will who decide what is necessary for you. It's not God. God, he says to you, I want to save you. I love you. But if you mm -hmm. don't love me, I can't force you. So it is not the necessity for God. It's necessity for you. You make decision as you wish. You know what I mean? Like he don't. He don't so he you don't, essentially he, have to accept it first in order for it to apply to you. No, he don't force you to do evacuation because of the risk. He asks you to do it. He advise you. He tell you about it. And then if you decide not to go, well, you are responsible for your decision. You know what I mean? It's not. Mm. It's not a necessity for him. And it's not necessity for you now. Because you are free to make your decision. You don't want to believe him. Don't believe in him. Okay, you know, that's your business. But he warned you. So when the day come, you don't say, oh, you are not being fair to me. You see, like now the atheists, they say, okay, what kind of God is God? He's he given us a, cho a like choice. He, he say there's a choice. But he says, if you don't believe in me, you go to hell. Yes, this is a choice. It's a choice. At the end of the day, it's a choice. Don't believe in him. If he is not true, anyway, you will not go anywhere. You know what I mean? If he's not true, you will not go to hell anyway. So yes, it's a choice. So it's a choice you make. It's not him who need you to make the choice. It is you who should see if you need it or not. It's not me even to tell you if you need it or not. Maybe you don't want it. Mm. Maybe you don't want to. You know, you don't believe. See. You know, maybe this is a maybe this is a joke. Maybe Christianity is the same as Islam. Maybe it's a maybe it's a lie. You know, but for me, when I when I look at uh, Christ and what he did, and there's not like Muhammad. There's tens of thousands of witnesses. Like when Jesus he fed the thousand of people. When he made the blind see, he did not make it in in a in a in a in a, in a room where there's nobody there. You know. Like two people, they start saying things, oh, he did this. There's always a lot of witnesses. You will not find almost yeah. single miracle and there's nobody there. It's impossible. So uh, what Jesus did is not what man does. I can claim to be God. I can claim, claim to be prophet. I can claim to be whatever I want. But I cannot claim to be Jesus because simply people will get me busted in two seconds. Like what happened to Ahmad Mirza Ghulam in India. He claimed to be the Messiah. Second day, hundreds of people came in front of his doors. They brought him blind people. They brought him people cannot walk. They brought him people have skin diseases, etc. And they said, okay, you are the Messiah. Do what the Messiah do. You know what I mean? Aren't you the Messiah? Go ahead, show us what you can do. So 
if I can do what the Messiah can do, then I can claim to be the Messiah. So it's not it's not just saying words, otherwise talk is cheap. I can say I'm Messiah, you can say that, you can say you are God. But then people, they have to say to you, okay, do what God do. Mm. The Muslim, they will come to us and they say, okay, God, but he is a human. Well, if God, he cannot come as a human, he cannot be God too, because there's nothing is impossible for God. That's why we call him God. So if it's impossible for God to be God and a human at the same time, that's mean there's something impossible for him. You know the logic? That's mean there's something impossible for him to do. That's mean he, mm -hmm. we strip him from the word God. He's not God no more because there is something impossible. Almighty God is someone, there's nothing yeah, impossible they claim that, for like, him. Being fully, they claim that the, they claim that the um, dual nature of, of Jesus, like fully man, fully God is contradictory. No. No, well, why is that? You know, you see, when the Muslim they say that uh, the, the spirit of Allah came to Mary, and you ask them who is the spirit, they say this is a Ruh al Qudus. Who is the Ruh al Qudus? They say this is Jibreel. Okay, how, uh, how he's an angel and he is a spirit and he is a man. So if they say an angel can do that, but a, man, a God can, the God cannot do that. That's a joke. So that's mean the angel is more powerful than the God. His yeah, God. I see what you. Yeah, so I see what you mean. Was, yeah, was the because there's certain things, there's certain attributes about God you can't. Was the angel Jibril? Yeah, there's like certain attributes about and a, and a, and an angel at the same time. They say yes. So you see the hypocrisy. You know, he is a man. He came as a man to Muhammad. This is what Muhammad says. He came to him. He squeezed him three times, correct? And then he came again before he came to Mary as a perfect man, according to the Muslims' interpretation. So is he an angel when he came or not? They say yes, he's an angel. Isn't his name is Jibreel? They say yes. Okay, but now he have a private part of a man. He have the, the Quran says, he came to her as a perfect man. So he lost his uh, they call him Holy Spirit. Is he still holy after he became a man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, I have I actually have another I have another question. Okay. So you you're familiar with Bart Ehrman, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so like a, a common Islamic claim that the basically the, the they quote Bart Ehrman because Bart Ehrman says that the synoptic gospels hmm. don't claim the divinity of Christ, but only John does, and then the specifically the claims like I am the father are one, uh Nobody comes to the Father but through me. I'm the way, the truth, and the light. Like those claims are only in the, the John's Gospel, and then Matthew, Mark, and Luke don't claim, don't have those claims. And Bar Ehrman kind of uses that to claim that the divinity of Christ is not found in his you see, was a you see, later when, invention. When somebody he made a so claim. what is your no? When somebody he made a claim, he made a claim based on what? He he made a claim based on a historical discovery, right? Because he's not he's not a believer himself, right? So we have tens of thousands right. of shred. They are not in the form of a book, but they are shred and they are confirming what it says in Luke and etc. So he's talking about okay, we have a, the, the 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 earliest book we have, which is a whole book. You know, this is what the Christians is based what they say when they would talk about. But all of us we knew that even the heretic, the heretic believe, which is the the Council of Nicaea, they met to fight it. Even those heretic, they believe Jesus was God. So how we reach the point that even even those who we believe they are false, and us, all of us we agree that Jesus is God. Like there is heretic belief that Jesus is God, but he was he's a son of God, yes, but he was a created. This was the purpose of the council. So, but they still believe he's God, but there's a point he wasn't exist. So, how we reach the point? And Christianity is carried through generations, father to son, son to father, brother to sister, it, it, from the from the time of the disciples. the The books is written in in the books like like made from the Burdi. You know, Burdi is like a papers a form of papers from Egypt, or the way they did, like the one who discovered it is Egyptian supposedly. And we have tons of thousands, if mm -hmm. you know, of, of a shred, and none of them contradict the Bible, none of them. So when this guy he's talking, he's talking about the full form, right. you know, we have we have in the early centuries, or he's talking about what we discover, like you know, let us say 
uh, we did not find it, but we don't have a book to find it. To make it simple for you, did he find there, it says he's not? No. He's saying he could not find in those shred, shred, little tiny paper, you know? He could not find a sentence. But we don't have the whole, we don't have the page, we don't have the book. We have a shred. So how you can confirm it's there or not? You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you have a letter and this letter you, you rip it apart and then uh, the wind came. And then only there is one piece staying, but this is not even from the same chapter, from different chapter. And you say, okay, this is what we have now. So where is this verse? So the study of this person, actually even the same man, he said, there's no book in history is preserved as the Bible. No book is preserved as much yeah. as the Bible. So uh, uh, he himself, he witnessed that there's no other book is, is really, because it witnessed in, in the books of, uh, you see, in the early history, not by the Christians, by, by Greek people, by people who don't believe in Christianity. They say there is people who they are, etc. In this day, Jesus Christ, he is their leader. He was a crucified. They believe he is God. He is the son of God. So his... Um, his wait, sorry, can I, can I address your chat real quick? They, they're asking you something. Yeah. Uh, your, someone in the chat, a few people actually are asking me to talk to Sam Shimon. And uh, I just want to say to you guys, uh, I called Sam and he basically uh blocked me for no reason because yes. he thought i don't it's know okay, it's okay guys it wasn't know, really nice uh, guys, really to guys please leave me speak to the guy and leave me from this and that he's talking to me yeah. when he is done he can go to somewhere else my friend everybody have his own reason yes. to believe or not to believe and i saw and millions of people they saw right. what this, this 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 person who he said and why they are not living uh you know christianity you see like one of the statement he said that there is an update in the Bible translation. Why? Because every day we have a new discovery. But the new discovery confirmed the old uh, books. It's not working the opposite way. You know what I mean? It's not working the opposite way. It's working this. It's, yeah. it's for our benefit. So if there is a new discovery right now found about the Bible, like now they the uh, uh, you know you, do you remember the, the the news about the Dead Sea Scroll? They found that it's fabrication. Yes. They, it they, found, basically... they found it's a fraud. After all this noise, all this media talking about it, and then they found that all of it, this guy who sold them those things, it was a fraud. He was he, he made it in a very good way to the point he, he did fool them. And now they discover it's a fraud. So you can search it right now in Google, right now, you know? So uh, mm. new discovery did not... Uh, oppose the belief of Christ and let us say let us let us go with him you said it's only in the book of John right okay well uh, is, is the is, is John number one is exist yes John number two is exist chapter one verse number one verse number two verse number three verse number four verse number etc verse number 14 where it says and the flesh became a man I do not need the whole book of John to prove that the that, that Jesus is divine I need the first page if that page is there, Jesus is divine. Even he mentioned like, okay, it says me and the Father is one. But what about the rest? Every book, every page in the book of John, it says Jesus is God. Oh, wait, I know what you said. Are you basically trying to say that it doesn't, it's, if you take it by itself, then it can still, you can essentially consider that true, even if it's just that one page? Yeah, yeah, even if it's a page, because simply, you see, uh, if this is the page and we agree upon mm. this page, that's it, it's enough. If if the problem, if his problem is saying he was divine or not, well, use your logic, okay? It doesn't say in that page that the word is God and the word became a flesh. Okay, who is the word who became a flesh? The Bible says from the beginning of the book of John, I am, etc. speaking about who? Speaking about a person, his name is John, John the Baptist, who witnessed for Jesus, and then etc. etc. And then John, the, the, the word is the, uh, God, and this God, he became a man. Who is this God who became a man? That is Jesus. What is the purpose of the book of John? Jesus. Right? So if, if you want to try to find excuse mm -hmm. to say, oh, okay, in the old, 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 I cannot find uh, such etc. In, in, uh, in the book of Luke, you know, because not because it is it is uh, corrupted but because we don't have the oldest books 
it does a huge difference. You know what I mean? The because it's written in papers, those books they dissolve by themselves. You do not need even to burn them. If you leave them in the shelf for hundreds of years without touching them, they will be damaged. They are not done in a professional way. They are not done by, you know, they are poor people. Those Christians, they are poor people. They cannot, they are doing everything secretly. They can't even carry the Bible with them. Until the year 330 mm -hmm. and after that, the Christians were underground. So it is not for them to make books to, be, to publish. The books are secretly used. So we don't have, you know, th there's a reason for those books are, are, are to be, let us say, uh, not to be preserved because the what is it's made from the the the, the material is made from it is dissolved by itself it's, it's food simply it's food this kind of a food you know it's like making the book from rice paper mm -hmm. made from rice okay by the time it's going it's going to be dissolved it's going to be damaged the hu humidity will damage it the, the weather will the heat will damage it so and then you will find that after the christians became a kingdom then the king he made books written on leather and here you need to ask yourself a question those who mm -hmm. wrote the books in leather they wrote it both based on what they must have books at that time which is between their hands to copy from here to there right you, you know what i mean if i am exist in the year 300 no, I'm a bit confused. Okay, I am exist in the year 300. And uh -huh. I'm going to write the, the Gospel of Luke. Right. All right? But how I'm going to write it if I don't have a book mm -hmm. to write it from? I decide to make it in leather now. So obviously they have books. Mm -hmm. But those books, they could not be preserved until now because they are made in the wrong material. So when they copy those books and they put them in the leather, the, the, the books which is in the papers, which is demolished, they are, you know, they are, they are, there's no need for them. You know what I mean? They were not thinking about preserving the book written this year for etc. Because now those books are useless. They are they are like shred. They open the page, the page collapse. It's like you have a book, you know, like in in your in your house, and the book is damaged. You want to keep it? You maybe you keep it. You can sell it for good money in eBay after no. two, after two thousand years. You know, <laughs> but it's not you who will sell it. Somebody else. So yeah, the reason they did not because simply we have now books in leather. And the king, the king who became a Christian, he is the one who ordered, okay, those books, now we copy them, we put them on leather. This is why those books who they are mm -hmm. fully preserved are the one who is written in leather. So what is the problem? It was using mm -hmm. material problem, not the Bible is not exist. Because in order for them in the year 300, to write the Bible in leather, they have to have the original one, let us say, uh, something written in years ago, you know what I mean? Which is not in leather. And then they can copy. They cannot just imagine it from their head. Because the Christian, as you see, the Christian, they met in, and they made a council to fight heresy. They are debating about what? They are debating about verses in the Bible. Correct? Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they did not debate about something they don't have. They were debating about the same verses. All of them, the heretic and the Christian, they were debating about same verses. So both of them agree that those books are the same books. They, don't, they, are, not, they are not fighting over the books now. They are fighting about the meaning of it. Let us say a philosophy thing. Oh, like, okay. I when see. Jesus you're, you're was, saying... exist, was mm. Jesus exist when uh, uh, before the world created? Or Jesus, he... Uh, exist yes before the water created but still there's a point where god he created a son this is what the heretic they come with the christians they said no jesus was exist from the beginning because the bible says you know by him and for him everything is created so when they were debating they were debating about books they have not books they don't so if the books they have is not preserved because of the nature of the of the things of, of the material it's made it from the reason, very simple, we have it now in leather, so why they want to keep the old books? If this book is going to be damaged anyway. Okay, yeah, I understand now. So like, uh, it's like, you know, you right. have... Yeah, I'm not you, really... You have, you have a rusty, you have a rusty dish, okay? And you have a new dish now. So why you want to keep the rusty one, which is having holes in mm -hmm. it, 
and you have the new one which is written in the other so we have now finally we have books we can carry around we are not worried about it to be damaged because the material is made from leather those books even you cannot carry them okay you know yeah they, i understand yeah so uh, mm -hmm. uh, so the reason is not because it's not preserved it's the opposite it's preserved otherwise we will not have the books in leather because who is going to write the book of luke if we don't have a book of luke now do you think the christians they will agree Okay, mm -hmm. you can create for us a people, you know, the, those people, they were fighting, they were going to war over it. I mean, this is how serious for them, the, the issue, you know what I mean? Right. They, they, they are going to war for just an idea to believe that Jesus is not exist from the beginning. He is a created, not about the corruption. It's about the corruption of the meaning of interpretation of ideas that exist in the Bible. So... They were not fighting over a book is exist or not. They have the book and they were debating about the books. Yeah. So when somebody says to me, and when this guy himself, uh, 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 you know, the one you you you, you quote his name, he said there's no book is preserved as much as the Bible. Yeah. I mean, how much you want? Even the enemy of the Bible, he witnessed. There's no book is preserved as the Bible. And if we right. if we agree with his statement, there's no book is preserved. And we agree that it's mentioned that Jesus is divine in one of those books. That's mean he's divine. That's it. Because it's preserved. He just said it's preserved. So all the idea is a, is a joke. And you know, the more we discover things, yeah, the, the, the more we uh, the more we find more historic evidence, the more things is confirming our belief, not the opposite. So time is not working against us, even we are going away from the time of Jesus. Because the more we go away, the more harder it is to find, let us say, a very early evidence. You know what I mean? But then when you go and see, even in, in the book of this guy, you will see historians speaking about Christians worshipping a person whose name is Jesus. So why in the early, before even the Bible is written? Why the early people, historian, they say there's a Christian, they worship a person, his name is Jesus. Why they want to, why they want to say that? So when people, they say, and they are not Christians, and they are Roman or Greek, and they are enemy of a Christianity, and they say, though, why, why the Christian they've been given to as food for the animals? For what? The Jews, they exist in the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. and the, the Roman, they don't feed them to the animals. You know what I'm saying? The Jews, yeah, are not a throwing. Not they are not. A th they don't throw them to the lion. Okay, well, if the Christian they are just same as the Jews, they worship Elohim, then they should be throwing both of them. Correct. Right. If we have the same exactly word by word. So you're saying that. So there is a reason. There is a reason the Roman. They hate Christianity, but they don't want to kill the Jews. The Jews, they were citizens. They pay tax like everybody. They are not considered a Roman citizen, but they are citizens who live in their in, in their empire. So they did not throw them in the in the in the, in the uh, for the uh, for for the lion to to eat them if they are Jews. No, but if you are a Christian, they will do that to you. So what the problem? The problem is that the Jews told the Roman from the story from the beginning. When the rabbi, they asked the king that this guy, he is doing blasphemy against God. He claimed to be the son of God. He claimed to be God. And we want him to, to be killed. That is the objection of the Jews from the beginning. Why the Jews, they want to kill him? You know what? For what reason? If he is a Jew like them, they will love him. They will support him. So the Jews, they went against him for a very simple reason. Because he said, I am God. And the Roman, they agreed with the Jews that this is against their teaching, but the Roman they didn't want to get involved. But then when the when the Christianity started spreading in the empire, the Roman they tried to fight this faith. It became risky for them. The kings they thought, the king of the Roman, they thought, okay, those Christians they are going to replace me with a Christian king. Those, those Christians, they are coming to me with the king. His name is Jesus. Even they call him the king of kings. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
So the Roman did not, if, if we are just the same as the Jews, then the Roman, they will not be killing the Christians because we are the same as the Jews. And remember, all the disciples of Jesus were what? They were Jews. You know what I mean? The disciples of Jesus themselves, they are Jews. So why do they want to kill the Jews? Why do they want to kill only those Jews, those Jews, but they don't want to kill the other Jews? Those are Jewish who follow Christ. This is their crime. And they believe that Christ is God. So from mm. the early time of Christianity, Christ is God. And additional to that, you know, this heart, you know, uh, this man, he did a study uh, uh, only certain uh, part of history of Christianity, like let's say Hebrew and the Greek. But we have the Aramaic, we have the, the Ethiopian, we have the Indian, we have the ancient Aramaic. You know, when we say a scholar, you know, we wonder what scholar he is, a scholar in certain things. Not in everything, not in all. Like we have very ancient document exist in the Aramaic Christian church, as an example, the Aramaic uh, and, and Muslim, you know, that when ISIS, they enter, the, 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 the priests there, they, they, they try their best to hide as much as they can as ancient documents have to do with the Bible, let us say, a manuscript. We have them. So they did not study everything. We have tons and we have the mosaic. You know the mosaic? You know what is mosaic? The uh, mosaic, um, mosaic no. is an is a is a Christian art where all the stories in the Bible are documented by stones. Oh mosaic, yeah. Mosaic. So I, I say it in my own language. We call it mosaic. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I thought you were saying mosaic as in like mosaic law. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is an art. I got confused for a second. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this art is additional preservation of, uh, uh, of, of the stories of Jesus. What we will do with those? And they are exist in the early, early Christianity. Some of them, they go almost like a, 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 a 60, 70 years after Christ. So this art is other preservation for for what happened to Christ. You find it in the floor of the churches, you will find it in the walls. The more we discover, the more churches we discover, the more we find. I mean, like we have a story uh, 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 about uh, uh, what is uh, when Paul when Paul went to Damascus this one is exist in mosaic all of them there exist in mosaic in very ancient churches even the room where 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 uh, 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 Paul himself he went and he slept they have it until now so we have a lot of a preserved history and when the enemy of the Bible says there is no book in the history is preserved as much as the Bible so then what we can say after that you know All right at the end of the day you know uh, everything is about belief you know either you believe or you don't mm -hmm. want to believe however for us we are people who question we are not going to follow blindly but we have endless number of evidence about Christ we are not blindly believing. That's not true. The art proved the Bible. Mm -hmm. The the old manuscript proved the Bible, and nothing nothing is can be considered contradiction. Uh, they will say to you like, okay, you have many versions of the Bible as an example. This is different translation. This is not version. This is not trans. This is not a version. You know, the Muslim they have Yusuf Ali and they have Shakira, etc. But all of them, they are translating from the full books we have, which is written in leather, not in the shred. But even the ones in the shred are in total agreement with the books, which is in leather. You mm. know what I mean? So if somebody says, I could not find in the old, 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 etc., those verses, but he don't have the whole page to find it. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not only the verse. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the book is not there. Even the book is not. I mean, yeah, don't, I you have a shreds. You have a shreds. So, 
uh, they make a claim and their claim is not logical but if you are a person who is looking to for something to fight Christianity you can accept them why not you know but we have many uh, right oh uh, sorry I don't want to I don't want to waste your time, but I just wanted to ask um some some in the comments. So, do you know why like Mark and Luke didn't use um what's called high Christology, uh, unlike in John? You see, everybody he speak to like different... why those authors didn't use no, it. No, you see, when I when I speak when I write my book in English, I speak to people who speak English, and I use language which is fit with those who are going to read my book. So the language, the let us say there is every country have uh, every nation have their own culture so when i write to the greek i'm speaking to greek people greek they have different logic when i write to the hebrew they have different logic mm -hmm. so the, the 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 story is the same but the language is different and the language the language will make the story uh, uh, let us say uh, go in certain or written in certain way but it's not the different story it's the same story but because we are speaking to different people who speak different language, then we have, like you see, like uh, in English, you say, uh, let us say, you go now right now in the chat and you say lul. Can I go and say to someone in the Middle East now lul? Will you say, what is that? You know? But there is a word equal to it. Yeah. In the yeah. in Arabic language, I can use. So you cannot use words doesn't fit with the culture because they want to understand it so the language of the person first to present the quality the way he think and the way he write same time we believe that all the writers are inspired by god which mean yes it's different way of writing and this is the reason actually to have four books otherwise we will have one if all of them they write the same exactly the same way then why we need to have four you know what i mean so the four they complete each other right. so now they're it's, addressing different audiences yeah, like now you say to me about john that uh, this man he said in the book of john we find we don't we don't find in the book of luke but imagine if we have one book then we have we cannot find it no more right so obviously there is mm. there is a reason to have them in four books number one is to speak to other people in different languages number two is uh, uh to witness uh, to the story from your point of view let us say when I when if I am in your right and you say something and your face is the other direction all right I can describe what you say but I can describe your face because mm -hmm. I wasn't in that side so each witness he witnessed a side he saw a side he knew a side he believed in and all of them in total agreement so let us say the four they give you four dimension of the story not different story. It's like when you take a picture, you take it from one side. What about the other side? What is in behind? You know what I mean? All pictures are still missing. Right. All pictures are missing because you don't have the whole dimension. But we have by having four books, we have the whole dimension of the Bible. Like you know. I mean, we can mm -hmm. we can go and take any story, the same story. You will see the report; they agree with each other. But uh, one of them is giving us extra details, and one of them he don't need to write extra details because it really is written in the other book. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, I see. Because the books are not written in one day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's written through a period of time. So if I wanna if I wanna put something there. Why I want to repeat exactly what he just said? I will, I will say if it is important to say because he covered it already. But if there is something he did not cover it and I know about it, I'm witnessing here. This is the book of witnessing. This is not an, a storyteller. So we witness for the story as we know it. So the writer he write what he witnessed for and he put there what he heard and what he said and what she said and what what he himself he said and because each one of them is witnessing not writing right. a story then he write what he witness and we will find that all of them they are witnessing even like the Muslims sometimes they say oh here it says an angel and there it says angels it's the same because one oh, angel I can show you the same in the Quran you know an angel he spoke but there's angels there doesn't mean it's only one angel so uh, if I want to try to find 
a reason not to believe, I always can find a reason. I can say, okay, I mean, okay, the, the Muslim has an example, they say, uh, why God he need to send a son? Well, I can say the same, why God he need to send a prophet anyway? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why God he need to send mm. books? You know, he just burn you, all of you. You know, you are like ants for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you want to ask those questions, you want to be silly, okay, go ask them, no problem. But in the Bible, we have an answer. For God, he loved the world. Even this, this question have an answer for it. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So not because he need, but because he love his creation. He love us. So we have different logic and we have different understanding. And always when you have hatred in your heart mm. for something, it doesn't matter how good that thing, you don't love it. It's like, you know, somebody who forced you to marry a woman, you hate her. It doesn't matter how pretty she is. You hate her. That's it. You cannot. You cannot. Uh, you cannot have her next to you for a second. You know. So, I see always Muslim mm -hmm. because of Islam promote hatred toward the Christianity. They refuse to listen and refuse to see what is the reason even to refuse a Christ. I mean, what what he did. If it is the reason saying that Jesus is the Son of God, okay, what about you believe in him as a prophet of God, but don't follow someone like Muhammad. You see, if you are trying to say I'm a person who follow ethic, is it ethical to follow someone like Muhammad? No. Let us say you are a person, you don't like the idea to believe that Jesus is God. Is it ethical to follow someone like Muhammad and leave someone like Jesus? So if you are honest and you want to believe that Jesus is just a prophet, still you will not follow Muhammad. You will follow Jesus as a prophet. But their hypocrisy is beyond the imagination. I know you. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So in the same time, uh, all what Jesus said, like when this guy he says, "There's no way it says divinity." I, I can't find the divinity in every word in 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 the verses he accept. This is not true. Everything Jesus said, like not everyone says to me, "Lord, Lord." Okay, not everyone says to me, "God, God." That is divinity. I am the life. The second he said, "I'm the life," is that exist? Yes. You know, I am the truth. Not only, not only by saying me and the Father is one, that will make him divine. That's not true. When you when you claim that I am from above, what does that mean? Are you human or an alien or an angel? You know what I mean? So when somebody he make a claim, yeah, that claim doesn't is not. You know, this the claim of this guy. They are good in the front of a bunch of atheists. Because nobody want to discuss whatever you say, they accept. It's like you know, a Muslim making a, ver a, a video about the miracle of the Quran. Whatever he's saying, even if it's false, full of lies, they will they will support it. They will give it a like. Because e echo chamber. Yeah, because mm. the audience, the audience is from the same as the speaker. What about we bring the audience, or let's say the speaker, to someone like me, and let us see what will happen. You know what I mean? Debate is not a debate. Mm -hmm. If it's like if you are not a Muslim and I am a Christian, then we cannot say we have a debate. Because if both of us we agree, then there is no debate. So you don't bring a hundred people listening to you and you became a scholar right. because they agree with you. And especially if none of them is in your level. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you bring someone in the, mm -hmm. in the in the stage and he claimed to be a scholar, shouldn't you you know you make your speech in the front of scholars, so the scholars can refute you, or agree with you? A scholar should not debate. If you wanna if you wanna make it, let us say official debate, a scholar should debate a scholar. Like if I if I right now want to debate. Like now, I'm, I, I went with you. I'm speaking to you as, a, as if I am like you. I'm, I'm not speaking as a scholar. I'm talking to you in a normal language. I'm not using high quality language. I'm not using Arabic grammar. I'm not using my knowledge with you to show you my muscles. I'm just speaking to you. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? So, but what those people, they do, they speak about topics with normal people who normal people, they have no standard of knowledge to answer, to refute. They don't speak the language. Like when when a when a person mm -hmm. he speak about what is written in Hebrew, well, how good is your Hebrew? How good is your Aramaic? What about we bring you someone who's an Aramaic to debate what you said about the Aramaic? Can you handle it? Can you take it? Let us see. Uh, so 
There's many they attack with Shati. And okay, attack it. No problem. But there is many enough reasons, even those who they are enemy of Christ, they could not deny that history is consistent speaking about Christians worshiping a person his name is Jesus. Even, even you know, the, the, I, I, I forgot the name of the book. Uh, uh, it's written by an atheist. He's very famous. I forgot his name. So he said that we cannot deny that uh, like something like this I cannot uh, like remember the word by word by word but what it's mean we cannot deny that history speak that there is a person he was exists his name is Jesus and this is go back to 2000 years ago and this Jesus he used uh, what they call it uh, he uh, hepatized science to heal people I mean look those atheists who they are they claim to be scholars they agreed that 2000 years ago history report that there is a person his name is Jesus he used to heal uh, uh, people but he do what he used a highly uh, let us say unknown at that time uh, uh, method to heal them but you just admitted that Jesus is exist and Jesus is a healer and now you are coming with to me with fiction story that at that time there's a guy he learned science which nobody knows and he was practicing that science and he healed you who is going to believe in this right so even the enemy of a christ they could not deny because history is overwhelming how how many evidence of a person his name is jesus historian because remember those as i told you those stories are are, are recorded not only by christians there's at that time there's historian they used to write down history and there's many many of them speaking about a person his name is Jesus making miracles so the Christians who who, who paid their life why they want to even fabricate a story I mean imagine you throw me to the lion and still I want to believe in Jesus as God and then you say to me oh this is not doesn't say that in the Bible I mean how stupid is that you know what I mean if I am a liar, lying about Jesus, I will say I will not believe in Jesus in two seconds. They put the, the gun in my head. I will say, please, I'm, I'm a Muslim. They just leave me, leave me. You know, no. Those people, they go to death. I only brought up. You know what I mean? Right. They, I only brought up Bart Ehrman because he's. Right. I only brought up Bart Ehrman because he's someone who's like a lot of Muslims claim yeah, that yeah, no he problem. proves yeah, Jesus but, is but, God. But uh, this guy, the same but guy, I guess even his Islam anyway. This guy don't believe in Islam anyway. So what the point? He's an, so, so this they are stupid. Right. But even my, he will, even what? But my friend, right. when somebody, even history, even this guy, he agree that Roman they feeded the Christians to their beast, and yet the Christians don't deny Jesus as God. So how we can answer that? If they don't have books, and their faith is not ba based on something solid why their faith is solid to the point they go to death and they are happy there's no yeah, answer for that exactly you see their faith the christian faith conquer the power of rome it's not a book written as much as their faith so their faith in what in nothing there's no books but they learn what they learned about jesus where they learned from if there's no books so those people who they are giving their life happily and not in violence, you see, they are not doing jihad, killing people, Allahu Akbar. They are very peaceful. Okay, kill me. Yet I will not deny Jesus. What in the world would make any human being do such a thing if he don't have something very solid between his hand? Nothing. Because he's losing his life. So this is additional, very powerful point. And when somebody says a Christian, they corrupted. I mean, why people who pay their life to their faith, they want to change a book? I mean, how crazy is that? <laughs> and how all of them agree? <laughs> how you can make it? You see, now we have YouTube, we have Facebook. Right. I have like now people coming from around the world, right? There's people from Asia, there's people from America, there's people from Europe, from everywhere. But at that time, my friend, the Christians, all of us, we agree that the Christian, they spread all over. So those who believe in Christ in India, there's a, a very ancient church. I think it's called St. Thomas in India. 
who disciple went there mm -hmm. and he told them and he opened Aramaic church. Okay, this is not under Rome. You see Rome, okay, Rome corrupted Rome, the king he changed the king. Okay, what about the Rome is not ruling Ethiopia. Rome is not ruling India. Rome is not ruling Arabia. Rome is not ruling uh, 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 like uh, the middle of Africa because the, the faith went all over. So how those people they agree? How somebody he live in India and there's no internet at that time and there's no Facebook, he have a belief that Jesus is God and the one who live all the way in Egypt, he believed that Jesus is God and the one who believe in Greek, Greece. Oh yeah, you're talking about the, all the manuscripts from different areas, right? Yeah, there's, I mean, not only manuscript people, people, they are living, I mean, why they are believing in the same thing, you know? We should, we should have people who believe that Jesus is not God and they have a proof of that, but we don't have. We don't have a, this kind of form of Christians. We have heretic who they came with an idea, okay, if Jesus was exist from the beginning or not. But even those, they believe Jesus is God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even the ones who we, we refuse them, <laughs> like later we have more heretic, like now we have Jehovah's Witnesses, but those, those are new, you know? But all those who believe in Christ, still they believe in one thing, they agree in one thing, that Jesus is divine and he is son of God. So whatever those who speak against Christ, there's tons of evidence. And one of them, as I said, in the early Christian faith, all of them, they paid their life defending that Jesus is God. So if they have no proof of such a belief, why they believe in it? Nobody can say this is not true. So still, I want to invite you to be a believer in Christ, my friend. I invite you, and trust me, there is endless evidence of a Christ. You see, for me, I'm a Christian, and uh, I, I expose Islam. But the only benefit for me from Islam is reading the Bible. To be honest with you, this is the only gift Islam is giving me. When the Muslims attack the Bible, I go open the pages and read. It's like, you know, okay, I'm being lazy. I'm not reading the gospel. So here we go. The Muslim, they made me go there. Thank you, God. And then the second I start reading it, the second I start enjoying and learning something new, even though I saw this page a hundred thousand times, maybe. The special thing about the Bible each time you read the book, you are reading it for the first time. We do not memorize it, but we live it. The Muslim they memorize it, but they cannot understand the word. Go open any speech Jesus he said and see how amazing and it fit with your life today, not with people who lived 2000 years ago. Now we have electricity, now we have internet, now we have different world. Yet any story Jesus he mentioned, it fit perfectly with your life today. Even if you are a professor, even if you are a person who work in Nuke, even if you are a person who work in NASA, still the story fit with you. That alone is a miracle. You will find the Bible speaking about you in the story. You can see yourself in the story. You can see your problems in the story. You can see the solution in the story. So when we say we believe in the book, we don't believe in reciting a book. We believe in living the book. Christ is the living, walking, talking word of God. And that is the beautiful about what Jesus said. For the second we read his words, he is with us. The Lord, he says, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, which means he will be the third. He's here. Now, me and you, we are talking about he is here. So if you open your heart for him, he will be here for you. You open any page in the, in the gospel, in the four gospels, and you will see the Messiah speaking to you.
And for me, I don't want to be like the Muslims who speak about science in the Bible and, you know, who, what science? I mean, what science have to do with someone like Jesus? And what science can explain that a person, he can make a blind see? What science can explain that a person, he can bring somebody from the death after a few days, he's dead? How science can explain that somebody is born of a virgin? No science can explain such a thing. Today with the science, the world is desperate because of little tiny virus. Little tiny virus showed us that our science is a joke. The world was collapsing. So what if we have something more difficult virus? What if we have a virus will kill you in a few hours? With the Messiah, my friend, the power of science disappear and the stupidity will be demolished and his living world will live within you. I invite you from my heart to accept him as your savior. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely give that some thought. Do you accept him? I'll, I'll, def I'll definitely consider it. Do you accept him? I heard you crying. I, I don't want to. I, I heard you crying. No, I'm not crying. No, I, I don't want to rush into. Okay. No, I'm not crying. I, I don't know. I felt like no, I was are... coughing. Oh, okay. uh, anyways. All right. I don't know. I, no. I, I felt you were like no. as if you are uh, almost crying or something. My friend. No, no, you, you, you definitely have me emotional, but I'm not crying. You know. My friend, I cannot force you, but I say Anyways, to you. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely. I say to you that there is no name better than his name, and there is no person better to follow. And you practice one sentence of his teaching, you will live in a different world. Love your enemy. You will see your mother differently. Right. You will see your father differently. You will see your brother differently. You will see your neighbor differently. You will see your enemy differently. You will have no enemies. That is Jesus. He will change your life. Love your enemy. With the Christ you live. With the rest you die. So I say to you, you want to live or you want to die? It's up to you. I will say one thing, like, I definitely don't want to do it, like, you know, publicly on, like, a live stream or anything, because there's a lot of people in your chat and whatnot, they're, like, saying all this stuff, but I don't want to do it in the, if I do want to accept, you know, that, I don't want to do it because of people pressuring me or something, you no, know? No, 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 absolutely not, you see, no, 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 it, 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 even Christ will not accept right. you. I don't, I want to, no, 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 exactly. No, no. Even Christ will not accept you for saying something you don't believe in it in your heart. We don't we don't believe in Shahada. That's we don't believe in such a garbage. You believe right. or you don't. There's no pressure. There's no people want you to say right. things. It's not me. I I am asking you to join us in the love of Jesus. I am not forcing you. I want you to love him from your heart. And if you feel that you love him from your heart, then you say, Lord, I love you. I want to be with you. It's a free choice. Right, I... Choice of love is not a choice of you know. If 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 Christ he love you and then he forced you to believe this, I mean there's no there's no point of his love. His love is not is fake. So it have to come from your heart. And right. if you feel it, say it. If you don't, it's you know it's your choice. And don't I'm not I would never think about you as a bad person. Don't think that you know. But for me. I would love to have you to be saved today because right now it is 12 15 middle of the night i might go to sleep and never wake up who knows who knows people die right. young people die old people who think they are healthy they die after five minutes so salvation is not always available because you never know when your soul will be taken from you and after that point, there is no return. So for me, it's very important to believe when I have my soul with me, because after that point, 
if you accept him or not is not going to be matter because it's too late. You'll be hypocrite. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, if you could let me like read the gospel by myself, and if I do, if I do decide, I'd let you, I'll let you know. All right. I will be happy to hear you again. Is that and, fair? Uh, sure. No, no, no. It's not about fear, my friend. I'm not. I don't want you to. You see, it's it's not me who will win you <laughs> to be Christian. It's you who will win, not me. You know, like yesterday and the day before, and the day before we have somebody left Islam. Right. You know, it's not me who will win you. You see, I lost my night. To be honest with you, this is Friday night. I should be relaxing. My throat is hurting right. me since yesterday, and now it start hurting me again uh, because I do not take a break. I feel guilty if I take a break. But it's not me who is winning. I win nothing from the time I spend with you. It is you who will win. It is your salvation, not mine. But in the same time, you cannot say you never heard me. You cannot say the Lord one day will ask you, did he say that to you? Did he explain to you? Did he spend the time with you? And you did not accept? I don't want to make you feel guilty, but I'm just saying you that there's 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 people who they are warned and there's people who they are not warned like once somebody asked me what if somebody he never heard of jesus what will happen to him the lord is all about justice he will not judge him the same as he judged someone he heard about him he will judge him by what he know as he know as he been told if the word of god reached to him then he have no excuse if not he will judge him by what God created inside him. So mm. it's up to you. And if you feel like you want to accept the Messiah, I will be happy to hear it. If not, you can call me when you wish. Right. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. You're welcome, it's, my friend. I'm so happy. Good talk. I'm so happy to speak to you and wish to hear you from you soon. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. If you change your mind anytime, let me know. Call me and I will be All happy right. to hear you. Take care. God bless you. All right. I'm so happy in the same time that you left Islam, you know. I'm so happy at least, at least he called me as a Muslim. He hang up as not. <laughs> that alone is a blessing. You know, that alone is a blessing. Oh. Uh, Well, the Lord, he blessed us in the last week with many people who, you know, decide to leave Islam. Some, they accepted the Christ already. Some, they, they are thinking about it. But, uh, you know, like, if you remember, I told you last, the last week of uh, the new year, I was, I was hoping, praying that uh, somebody will leave Islam. And, you know, because I, I wanted, I wanted to finish the year with, with like, with, with the, this is my, like, let us say, my, my present for the year, how the year end. Uh, but you know the Lord blessed us right away. We started the year, and you know every day we got more Muslims leaving Islam. And sometime we get the Lord. He you know he opened their heart. But we pray that our friend here, uh, sooner or later, he will see the truth, and the truth will set him free. Do we have any Muslim here is listening? He don't agree with what we said. He'd like to join us in the conversation. If you are a Muslim scholar, you claim to have a knowledge. We would love to have you to have you with us. Any Muslim? Anyone? No Muslims. It's all right, no problem, you know. Uh, but don't make excuse, Muslims, that I speak. You know, sometimes they say, "Oh, uh, this guy, he do not know much." He, did. I'm not debating anyone. I, the people are calling me, my friend. I don't know who's calling me. I don't know if the one who called me is a sheikh, if he is, uh, he know much. I don't know. So, if you are a person who claim knowledge, don't complain that I am talking about Islam to people who do not have knowledge. All of you don't have knowledge. Which one of you have knowledge? The Muslim scholar is the easiest to defeat because somebody who don't have knowledge, he can say whatever he want. Like uh, David Wood, he debate me, me. 
He said to him, your God, Allah, have part. Me, what he mean, he said, who said so? That's it. Who said so? So when you debate an idiot, I mean, there's no debate. It's a kid. But you will not find a scholar saying who said so. So debating an idiot is the hardest. Because he can deny as he wish. He's just an idiot of the village. Debating a scholar is the best. Because he cannot deny, I'm going to get you busted. Uh, your reputation will be demolished if you deny. Yeah, Ali, go ahead, call us, my friend. Go ahead, Ali. <clears throat> You know, when uh, like one of you send a question to the website, you remember the website, we asked them, we asked them what, uh, let me see, hold on. Why the Prophet kissed the black stone? <laughs> I mean, those are Muslim websites, supposedly they want to they wanna answer you, they want to lead you to Islam. Okay, why the Prophet kissed the black stone? The answer is, Amazing. One of you, he sent me the questions here. They asked him the question. This is what the answer. Look, read this and laugh. So the question is, can you share with me? But I went because it kept repeating the same question they want to answer. Uh, I want to know first why he did kiss the black stone. Was he pagan? Look at the answer. The answer is, Omar, he said, I know only you are a stone which neither can be, be in, bring benefit nor can cause harm. So, so, okay, that make it already more ugly. If it is a stone, neither useful, neither harmful, why he can say it? They don't know. They didn't know what to say. You just, you just gave the lady an answer or the person who posed the question. To you you just give them a reason to believe Islam is a stupid religion I'm asking you why he kissed the stone why Muhammad kissed the stone you say to me that companion says the stone is useless that's mean Muhammad is a crazy let me put it for you in the screen because you cannot see it the screen is black give me a second <laughs> I mean can you believe it how stupid I mean what's wrong with those people so can you share with me, this is the question, can you share with me, uh, 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 in the top it says, has anyone offer you to share with you about the basic belief of Islam, of Muslims? <clears throat> okay, this is the Muslim website saying that. Then the one who's asking, I'll, I'll say it. You can share with me, but I want to know, first, why he did kiss the black stone? Was he a pagan? Look at the answer. Look at this low IQ religion. The question is why he kissed the black stone. And then you give him, you give them this. It was narrated that Omar said, came to the black stone and he kissed it. And then he said, I know that you are only a stone which can neither bring benefit nor cause harm. Where it is not I had seen the prophet uh, kissing you, I will not kiss you. But that make it more stupid now. Because now Muhammad have no excuse to kiss it. Omar saying, I saw my idiot prophet kissing it, I kiss it as he kiss it, but I know it's a stupid stone. This hadith actually proving that Muhammad is a fraud because Omar, he got him busted. So why you kiss it? If this stone is useless, if this stone is harmless, you kiss it for what reason? <laughs> this is the answer they give the Christians in their website. I mean, how stupid this answer is. So now it's still the question there. Why he kiss it then? If it is useless, this, this actually make it more stupid. If it is useless and harmless, why he kiss it? 
That's even more, more, this is donkey talk. In the other website, if you remember, I, I, I paused the video, I asked him. I don't know if any of you have the, the video, you can give me the link. Uh, I asked them why the prophet kissed the black stone. They said, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? They waited for five minutes and they asked him, he says, because it's, it's, uh, because it's, uh, because he kissed it. Like what? Why Allah, he, why the prophet, he kissed the black stone because it's holy. Okay. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. I mean, what's wrong with those people? We have Ali. Oh, Ali is busy. No, call is rejected. It says you need to update. We have an older version. Okay, it says. Okay, I will send him. He could not receive my call because his his uh, well talk is old. <clears throat> Any more time? Anyone? All right. Well, I don't know. He can call us maybe tomorrow. We already, <clears throat> it's already here getting late. I want to say thank you for all those people who were with us and they join us. Don't forget, please, to subscribe and tell your friends. And feel free to download my videos and share them with your friends. My videos are for free. And as you know, I don't keep them. Um, you know I don't keep my videos so you will find always my videos in different channels so remember the title and you can find it in different channel so uh, I want to say thank you uh, thank you for Muslims for kissing the black stones because if you don't I mean the stone will be lonely and you are not pagan for sure the Christians are pagan supposedly yet you are the one who kisses stone Bow in front of a stone, kiss a stone, go around the stone, and we are the pagan. True story. So, I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you tomorrow, God is willing if we can. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And feel free to subscribe to our YouTube. And you can join us in Patreon if you like to join us. God bless. Have a great day. Uh, Saturday. Blessing of the Lord to all of you. Take care.